properly. Hello, yeah. Hyper RPG, hey. and welcome back to Volume 2 of He Left It Dead. How is everyone here feeling tonight? You guys good? Rainy. Yeah, I, it's rainy. Yeah. It's I'm going to try really yeah. hard not to to metagame and bring all my anger at Matt into this game. I think wow. it's fine. I think yeah. it's I think it's honestly fine. I, okay, cool. I feel pretty good. <laughs> I cool. had a great day in Magic. Uh, <laughs> cool, cool. I was surprised. I was like, oh, cool. We even had Did a baby just... come in. His name was Dum Dum. He came into the voice <laughs> chat and was like really huh. high pitched and was like calling uh, me a baby. Wait, the baby was named Dum Dum? Yeah, his name, he called himself Dum Dum and he was a high pitched squealing baby trying to beat me in Magic. Oh. But he lost. But you beat him. Uh, he <laughs> didn't you, draw you beat the baby. Did you beat anybody else here, like maybe at this table? <laughs> I beat Zach. Oh, oh snap. How many times did you beat Zach? So anyway, uh, it's five. fine. Channel the anger. Do what you gotta do. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Matt will be dying in the first five minutes. Uh, <laughs> I'm Joe. I'm your keeper. This is a Call of Cthulhu RPG oh, uh, where we dabble in uh, madness and insanity and I see what I can do week after week to break these poor characters. Uh, That's right, Keeper. Yes. Because mm -hmm. we just had all our shirts taken off of all our stores that said Dungeon Master on them because that is trademarked. Oh. Oh. That was an email I woke up to this morning, and I was oh. like, eh, none of them ever sold anyway. It's <laughs> <laughs> the Call of Cthulhu person is called a ke keeper. keeper. They probably didn't trademark that either. Yeah, suck it, Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> um, I don't know what that meant. Now let's play meant. your game. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> after, immediately after, uh, there's more magic. Is there is there magic? Mm, you guys yes. keeping the magic going? Okay, no joke. Um, I, I, I do want to plug this really quick because it's nuts. Chum Chum Jim sent us this little box here. What's Ooh. on the box? This little box is one of the craziest gifts anyone's ever sent Hyper, and it's the Guilds of Ravnica Mythic Edition. Um, we're going to do a draft tonight with Mike Jin and Ooh. our friend Fabian, yeah. and whatever the winning deck is of the night, we're going to give that deck away to the chat. That Whoa. deck will be worth a couple hundred dollars easily. Whoa. Um, and Dang. if we hit our goal tonight, we've got a couple... Uh, Ma modern Masters full art. Like, this Snapcaster Mage is worth $300 online right now. And if we Whoa. hit our goal, we're going to give that away as well. Wow. Uh, it's it's nuts. Like Who knew little things Pokemon on cardboard cards. were so expensive? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I play Warhammer, so I. Okay. I well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, hey, so, Joe. Um, so, yeah. Hey, Joe. So, uh, that's tonight, right after Call of Cthulhu. We're going to do a draft uh, out of this box. That's amazing. And I know so little about Magic the Gathering. I thought you said it was the Guild of Radnor uh, edition of the deck. And I was like, <laughs> oh, 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 for $25 and a hashtag re-roll, you can add a re-roll to the pool. Please it's really hard to uh, successfully roll things, especially if your name is Matt. Yeah. <laughs> so that's very true. That's always valuable <laughs> to them. Uh, for $30, hashtag sanity, you can uh, trigger a good flash, a good positive flashback or memory for a player. They'll we regain. Didn't, I don't a think bit we got any of those last I week. I got we banked one banked. One. Oh, one yeah. banked. Me. Sanity. One we banked yeah. one. Wow. Uh, yeah. We got one. For $35, hashtag insanity, uh, that triggers a bad memory, a traumatic flashback for a player. We did uh, get those. Yeah, oh, we got, we, we did get some of those. Your timing's um, impeccable, Jack. Hey, that was horse. super fun. Uh, hey, horse. Hey, horse. Uh, horse. Hey, horse. Um, look, I know, I know you guys thought horse was funny, but you thought pumpkin spice was funny, too, <laughs> last time, and I made that it shit was horrible. So, terrifying. Yeah. so it's coming. Uh, uh, it's coming. It's Churchill Downs level coming. Uh, $50, hashtag phobia. Uh, you can give uh, a player a fear, like one of horses. Um, <laughs> or or alcohol. Uh, <laughs> clothing. <laughs> um, yeah, or clo clothing was one from last time. Yeah. yeah, so you can give them a phobia that will uh, then give us more opportunities to break them and roll against their sanity. Um, for $75, hashtag evil. I'm excited about this one. We didn't get one last week, but I'm excited about this one. Um, you will be able to create an evil encounter. So Ooh. the way this works is, Ooh. you know, if there's a clown in the woods, you want $75 hashtag evil, you want there to be a clown in the <laughs> woods. There's a clown in the woods, okay? That's kind of where we're going there. And, and, and I just realized you could easily stack those. Yeah. They mm -hmm. can play out where, like, somebody's like, here's a clown in the woods, and then Matt's got a phobia of clowns, yeah. and then you can trigger a <laughs> no, flashback. Don't, 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 yeah. don't, 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 don't give them ideas. Yeah. Here's a giant walking <laughs> bottle well, of go. booze. We're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Devaro, thank you very it's much. It's a drunk clown. It's Riding like, oh, a horse. Yeah. <laughs> Riding a horse. <laughs> so uh, we just got our first evil encounter. Um, they're yeah! They're literally taking my direct advice that fast. It's like they Love read it. my mind. <laughs> yeah, it's all about synergies, you guys. And, of course, oh, at $100, you, hashtag mm -hmm. GM, you can create a story beat of your own. Brilliant. Uh, 
We also have two goals tonight. We're doing mm. goals tonight. Yeah, right? we're doing yeah. some goals tonight. Uh, so if we hit $500 tonight, uh, I'm going to roll a dice. That number will correspond with one of these players. Ooh. They'll just go insane for the rest what? of the game. For the rest of the game. Whoa. And we'll Session. see what happens. Oh. He will see what happens. Oh, oh um, no. Oh, I didn't tell you guys about that. No. Um, Damn. Yeah, keeping you on your toes. <laughs> All uh, right, Matt. Once we you get a taste but of it, there's, you'll, Okay, you'll be but fun. there's five <laughs> of us, and there's not a five-sided dice. And we all I mean, know I guess that you can random roll a dice rolls always D10. work in five. I would probably yeah, oh, either figure D10 it or yeah. D6 yeah. and six is yeah. re-roll or something. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, and then uh, if we hit $1,000 tonight, uh, the Elder God at the center of this game will reveal itself. Whoa. Wait, what? So I mean, that also sounds like it comes with some insanity. So <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I think that's So things just <laughs> got real. Uh, thank you, Mr. Al, for that donation right out the gate. Sweet. Uh, and that hashtag evil out the gate is going to be great. Let's jump in yeah. to tonight's episode. Let's jump. What's it called? Uh, I'm not telling you. Oh. Um, that's the name of the Bert episode. Pulling a Bert. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, wow. that, that's how I do this. I tell you uh, so when last we left <laughs> this uh, weirdly motley crew, uh, you, you had left uh, Louisville. You were on the steamboat, the Idlewild, uh, which is currently being run by uh, a mob family from New York City. Nice. Uh, they are looking to make inroads to the bootlegging business in Kentucky, which is run by a family called Toon. T O O N E. I wrote that down. Uh, I that wrong. They had sent some uh, representatives, if you will, to go sort of have a, an introductory business meeting. Those representatives vanished. Uh, the mob, sort of being low on manpower and resources in this region, has hired, uh, well, hired three freelancers uh, to go into the woods to sort of find out what happened to their people. Uh, but they have also uh, picked up two stowaways, if you will, with agendas on their uh, of their own. When last we left this group, they're off to a great start. You guys are in a car in the woods on the way uh, to a town called Fisherville. And I believe that da -da 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 -da, uh, we are leaving this with JJ. Uh, JJ has a gun to uh, Gordy's head. Gordy is driving yeah. a car. <laughs> and... Um, that's where we <laughs> will pick up tonight. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I cocked the hammer. Uh, say, JJ, is that really necessary? I mean, he seems to be under a lot of pressure, what with the horses and stuff. Look, we, we can't just leave her there. Are your hands on the wheel? Uh, no, they're like, uh. Why are you driving? Oh, am I driving? I thought we weren't we? No, you had pulled away. We, yeah, you were we driving. We did pull away. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Then uh, they were right here. Yeah. <laughs> gun was still to your head, no, but you were driving. hand on the wheel. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, uh, but we, can, we, can't, we can't just leave it out there. Yes, we can. What is wrong with you, JJ? We have a job to do. Put the gun down. As you're talking, Put the, the gun car down. sort of you know, turns to the left, following the road. It's starting to wind a little more as this sort of conversation is happening. And how far away are we from from Louisville right now? Uh, you guys are about... Um, you guys have been driving for about <coughs> two hours, okay. which in old-timey car talk <laughs> means... <laughs> Not a mile and a half. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not very um, far. Uh, in, in, modern, in, in modern day, this drive would take about... 25 minutes. Okay. Um, but as you guys so we're are close. Yeah, continuing to have this confrontation, uh, the car sort of moves to the left, the car moves to the right. Uh, you're the guy with the gun, JJ. What's going on? Look, Listen. We, we've been arguing about this for two hours. I feel like <laughs> at this point, <laughs> it, the deed is done. <laughs> it's true. Look, I'm driving, okay? I'm go we're going to our destination, but please put the gun down. She seems to be a very fancy city sort of lady. I don't think it would be very nice to just leave her alone here in the countryside. Jake, put the gun Maybe down. someone has manners here. Look, boss didn't ask for her on this trip. And we don't know where her allegiances lie. What if they're working for the other people? What if she knows well, where the people we're looking for are, and she's here to make sure that we don't find them? We don't know anything. This, he does have a point. We really don't know anything about you. You just keep saying that you want to make business And that don't mean shit to me. I've already said I'm interested in the moonshine. Being interested doesn't explain why you're asking about a boss. 
why you tricked old dumbass here into getting into the car. I didn't it was anything. she didn't really trick. I, really I was didn't have to do anything really. I was a, a heat of the moment pressure, out, you know, and heat of the moment driver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put the, please put the gun down. Oh yes, do please put your penis away. The car sort of follows. Uh, tight curve to the right, as you guys are talking. Every angry loud Road man brandishing a firearm is always making up for something. I mean, this is easily avoidable. Yes, put it away. Or you tell us who you are, why you're looking for a boss, why you're in our car right now, and don't just tell me because you want moonshine. That doesn't explain why the first thing you said to us was, was tell me about your boss. I wanted to know who was interested in the moonshine as the as car well. starts to go downhill and hangs a left. Another car, oh, right around oh, the blind spot. Oh, Boom, Matt. I need oh, shit. comes uh, careening oh, right at you. Matt, I need you to roll your driving. Oh no! I'm a good driver. And that yes. is going to be uh, an extreme check. Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh. Wait, no. you you actually have driving as a skill? That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I uh. I don't. I are there any re rolls? <laughs> <laughs> There's one. I'm oh. taking. I'm taking that reroll. Uh, uh oh. I'm it's assuming extreme. my safety is also involved here, so yeah, please. Yeah, please, yeah. please. It's an extreme oh, check. Right? Oh, so no. that's the second That's the roll? bottom Can one. I push? Oh, you're going to kill us all, aren't you? <laughs> uh, there. So right now, here's what's happening right now. You've come around a corner, and boom, there's just there's a car. It is flying directly at you. Mm -hmm. you fail, so right now, you are trying to correct. It's not working. You oh, could no. try to really overcorrect. <laughs> this uh, situation, uh, it, it could save you. It could take the car did, right off the shoulder of the road what into the woods. What did you roll? <laughs> um, my drive auto is a 70, and I rolled a 71. N yep. But it would have you would have had to roll a 35 but anyway. Are you pushing it? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's right. That's yeah. right, yeah. Are you pushing it? Joe, I've never seen this intensity from you before. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm going to do it. Oh, my God. <gasps> you pushing the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> I already got a bum leg. Who needs another one? <laughs> I survived so much to go out like this. It's really, <laughs> I just, I'm not okay with this. Whatever, war hero. <gasps> it's a 30. That's a fucking 30, Joe. What's your extreme? Um, uh, but my no. 30. It's a 35. Matt, no, no that's a no, hard. Matt, man. you pushed in no, extreme. Bottom right. Oh, that's a, <laughs> that's a 14. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, uh, I think you have it. Oh, <laughs> son of a. I just wanted to uh, prove that I can get un uh, Okay. <laughs> this is why I never go riding in cars. Conversation is happening. Yeah. Uh, just tell us who you are, blah, blah, blah. You're just go you, the, the gun's out. Put your, put your dick away. Uh, boom. Car comes out of the way. You instinctually oh my God. hit that wheel as hard as you can. You guys, <laughs> there's no seatbelts yet. It's 1920 something. <laughs> no, we're luckily, luckily, we're only going 15 miles <laughs> yeah. an hour. Yeah, you're going about 15 <laughs> miles an hour. The car spins out. <laughs> what was your push roll? 30 of oh, 30. Okay. Car completely just like spins out of control <laughs> on the road. There's a moment where it is straight up just on its right axle. The for force, turning. the centrifugal force of this makes me pull the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that happens. Uh, we'll get there in a second. Uh, as this gunshot happens, the car uh, starts to completely tip over off the shoulder of the road. Oh my god! But as it's ah! coming all the way down, uh, hits a tree. Ah. And you come to a stop. <sighs> Happens in the blink of an eye. <sighs> there is a bullet hole in the windshield directly between the two of you. And blood comes down my ear. <laughs> and I am dead. <laughs> <laughs> I well, put my nice gun into its holster. <laughs> is, everyone, is everyone okay? No, thanks to you. I no, hey. Good driving there. Thank I'm you. sorry. I want all of you to roll yeah. Here comes. your um, your decks. Dexterity. So I don't know what is yet. Two and a d10. And, and this can just be a standard, yeah. standard roll. I got a bum leg. 53. I'm not gonna this. That's good this for one's me. Good. Dang, okay. that was great, so Bert. <laughs> really? Okay. And, well. and look at my dexterity. It's just Ooh, no, just this like is bad. Yeah. This is real bad. Well, I went out the bullet hole <laughs> in the window and landed <laughs> on my feet. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, good oh. job, Zach. That's a critical success. Fuck. Old bum leg here. <laughs> <laughs> Followed you out that bullet hole. <laughs> I got a 66. What's your dexterity? Um, 
That's uh, <laughs> not that good. Where, where's my, I don't see my deck. Oh, top. Oh, yeah. That's this, uh, 40 out of 40. This whole side of the table succeeded. I okay. do not. All of you succeeded. Mm -hmm. You two failed. Yep. Two up in the back front. seat. <laughs> uh, I got a one, so I uh, backflip out of that car. Wow. Uh, interesting. Okay. Oh, dang. <laughs> um, so here's kind of how this plays out for mm -hmm. somehow, some way. The three of you getting tossed around in the back. Maybe it's because there were <laughs> too many people sort of in the back, yeah. so you guys yeah, almost we kind of each other yeah. as yeah. uh, seatbelts. Um, as the car sort of hits the tree, the impact of it opens uh, JJ's passenger passenger door, and as it tips, you sort of fall out and almost wonk a roll out of the car. Almost into a directly into a standing position. There's just a weird uh, moment where uh, it's, like, it's like where the guy gets hit by the car and flips over the car, and then he's just uh, standing and shocked. Um, I, uh, my cane is. It, can somebody throw me my cane? I got it. Uh, so as I, I guess, am falling out of the car, <laughs> it's like a nice. It's like a great. The two of maneuver. you are sort of secure where you are. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I throw that. Gordy, you are sort of lurched forward. Um, and this sort of like shot of, of, of pain sort of like <laughs> flashes down your sp your spine. There's no real damage roll here, but like you you did not get out of that necessarily unscathed. Uh, also, I got, um, we have bits that came through. They don't get alerts, but enough bits uh, gave me a phobia. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, I have a phobia of hats. I thought I'd let you know that I have a phobia of hats. Okay, so. okay, 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 okay. Were you wearing sure. a fedora? <laughs> um, I don't think I was. Okay, so that's oh, good. Good for you. Thanks. Okay, uh, Apollonia. Probably a pet. Good thing yeah. mine fell um, off when I fell out of the yeah. car. Apollonia. Still in the car though. <laughs> Apollonia, your head sort of like smashes into the side window. Um, it's uh, more cosmetic, you know, than anything else. But there's definitely a good-sized gash uh, running down the side of your head. And as the car sort of settles to a stop, <coughs> that's where the five of you are. Um, JJ, as you stand, you sort of take a look sort of deep into the forest. Um, okay. You haven't necessarily been in the woods for a while, Ever but sort of- fell off that cliff. Yeah, but sort of, that's the connection then, that sort of, the sort of dense uh, canopy of trees and the darkness of it sort of connects to that weird like moment of your life. see it out there looking back at me. And your phobia of the woods kicks back in, and will you roll against your sanity, please? Phobia of the woods, huh? Phobia of the woods. That's it's better than hats. It's really <laughs> bad. <laughs> it's really bad for this game set in the woods. So. Yeah. yeah, no, I understand. All right, against my sanity? Yep. I don't think that'll be a problem. Ooh. Um, 13. Yeah. Not a problem. Okay, so that you sort of take a moment. Your heart rate sort of goes up a little bit. Uh, you do lose one sanity. Yeah. Um, that your heart rate sort of comes up. You sort of get a bit of that sweat. And for just a moment, that sort of um, this version of JJ that you project, everybody, the, the, the smooth guy, the fast talker, always in charge, always knows what to do, sort of goes away for just a moment. Fortunately, no one really seems to see it as you sort of are able to collect yourself. yourself. Um, the rest of you are in this recently wrecked car. I'm just standing with my back to the car, looking out in the woods. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I just immediately try to. I get out. That's okay. Sure. Sort of get, sort get that door yeah. open, and that's okay. why you shouldn't drink and drive. <laughs> and I get out of the car. <laughs> the fuck it in. Okay. Well, you were drinking at the. Oh, thing. I did drink. Shit. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> I'll collect my things. I have a, my duffel bag. It's not his fault. All right, don't blame the driver. What do you mean it's not his fault? He crashed the car. I had a gun to his head, all right? That's it's not his fault. True. I do you have a point. Where did that damn car go? The one that almost hit us. Hit us? Yeah. Did, you, did anyone, no one else saw that? I look, I want to look. Is that car gone? It just like mm -hmm. Mr. Toe Wild ride me and then left. Yeah, they, they didn't. <laughs> We're now in no hell. No one stopped her. <laughs> Um, that bastard. You, so you're kind of like looking around? Yeah. Okay. Uh, as you're sort of doing that general sort of, you know, look around after you've been in Iraq, sort of looking <sighs> at the street, uh, the only 
uh, tire marks you see are of your car. Huh. Um, I didn't see anything. I was, again, you're, you're, to your point, I was focused on the gun. But yeah. the next thing I know... I swear, there's an, another car that just... I saw it come out and it almost hit us. It must have rolled Look, your, rolled are you your sure spot it wasn't hidden? another horse? I, t- <laughs> I, I, I took care of the horse. Look, buddy, I I'm the trying chance. to stand up for you here. Just let me take the blame for it before you start acting all crazy. Yeah. Well. Oh, that's a ten. Wow, okay. Uh, as your guys are sort of talking back and forth and, you know, everyone's like, uh, the horse and blah, blah, blah. Um, you do have, like, a clear recollection of this car swinging past you guys. Uh, you're a car guy. You're sort of a gearhead. Uh, it was a, a black Chrysler. Um, but what doesn't make sense to you, and feel free to share it or not, what doesn't make sense to you is that you the, you, the driver could have been your brother. Easily. That was the first thought that you had was just almost like looking in a mirror. I, s- I swear, I, there was a black Chrysler that just drove right by. I, I, I didn't s- get to see who was driving it, but it, uh, I swear it almost hit us. Gordy. H- yeah. Let me take the fall on this one. All right, I put you in a messed up position. How about you see if the car starts back up? It's on okay. its side. It's not going to start back up. I don't think we're going to be getting anywhere in this car now. You and I can lift this thing back up. Come on, everybody. Um, I would like to... Um, is there, like... do? Uh, would I be carrying tools with me? Like, uh, car tools and stuff on the driver? Or is there any trunk? Because I would like to exp- like explore the... Lo- I would like to try and repair the, the engine. Sure, go ahead and check. <clears throat> so this is a... Spot check, or am I doing? The, am I already repairing? I mean, I'm telling you to check the trunk to see if there's okay, tools. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, sixty. And well, you don't have to roll. You can just check the trunk. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, you you open the trunk. Um, there's sort of like a an old tire iron. Um, my southern just came out. Tarn. Um. There are a couple of like. Knives. There's two clubs. Um, you don't really see any tools. There are uh, also three fedoras in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so you just got played. What are they? What are they? What are they, what are they doing here? Is this mob related? What? Of so as you sort of take a yeah, as you take a look at them, whatever this weird connection you have. To hats, which I will let you figure out. Uh, uh, go ahead and it just sparks something, and I need you to roll against your sanity because you have a hat phobia. It's th- okay. Uh, it was the three men in suits. They came. They came to the boys to the my Boy Scout troop, and they took some of our friends away. And I don't know what they wanted. Uh, I never saw those guys ever again. Okay. <laughs> 95. Just 95. Do we have any rerolls? <laughs> uh, you have three, but you can't reroll that. Oh. Um, okay. Roll 1d6 for me. Okay. Mm, that hurt. You just roll a one. Mm. <laughs> That's a six. Oh, my God. <laughs> How you doing over there, Gordy? You got a little quiet. <laughs> they look just like those hats. They look. Give me just a second. They look just like that. That's a beauty what? right there. I take the hat and I Stop put it on. Stop. Put that down. Put that. Put that down. Put that down. Gordy, all what? that flashes through your mind right now is that this is a guy that just pistol whipped you in the head and had a gun to the back of your head and is probably the reason you almost just died. You. S- all right, I'm taking this. You. This is a. I slap him. Oh. Okay. I'm I'll gonna take slap the hit. I'm gonna even try to dodge it. What is going on? Can Mr. we just Fitzgerald? all calm down? He did say slap and not punch, so I'm just yeah. going to take it. That's a it. four. Dang. All right. Okay, hey. you take a swing? Yeah. You, you, this is all your fault. Your fucking I fault. I already said you, that, you, you, you cannot keep your cool. 
You are just so questionable about everybody, and it call, puts us all into trouble. Questionable about Already everybody. Already this guy hit you in the face with a pistol. You fucking hit me in the face with that pistol. You pistol whipped me while I was your fucking driver. Your fucking driver. You're a shitty driver, Gordy. Listen. You want to you wanna say that again? You're a shitty driver, Gordy. You let a stranger into the boss's car. I punch him in the uh, stomach. I okay. dodge this one. Let's well, let's let's roll and find out. Uh, go ahead and roll your uh, your fighting brawl. Thirty. That's a success. Also a success. Forty-eight oh, out of dang. seventy-five. Okay. Uh, so what happens here is. Uh, JJ, you sort of take that swing. He successfully dodges. You guys are sort of still locked into this, though. Um, would you? What would you like? To, we'll sort of give you your combat turn. Oh, I'm gonna to take my can. I'm just gonna bop him on the head with it and tell him to calm the shit down. Okay. Just to settle down, Gordy. And Go ahead and roll knock, it. Knock him in the head. Maybe we get to roll dodge or no? Yeah. Okay. That's uh, 36. Oh, holy shit! That's a 15. Dang. Okay, <laughs> uh, you guys are still Dang. in this weird stalemate as you guys are scuffling back and forth. Gordy, settle down. I want to uh, like put Please. like grapple him and push him against <sighs> the car. Okay. That's a twelve. I found my die. Also a success. <laughs> oh Big my time. god. Okay, so you sort of <laughs> push. You sort of like you're able to sort of bear hug around JJ as you sort of push him into the car. JJ, you're able to sort of like brace back against the car. He's not really able to slam you back as to where you're going. But Buddy, calm down. He's already starting to lose a lot of his balance. Uh, this is escalating right in front of uh, the three of you. Hey! And then as hopefully you turn, you just hear. <laughs> Oh, damn. As I'm uh, cocking the bolt action. Gordy, I recognize that sound. How about we cool our jets? <laughs> Everybody, calm the fuck down. L listen, I, I think everyone's just overreacting a little bit. I mean, getting in that car crash, I think it's just kind of put everyone on edge, you know? We're wasting time here. Are, are you going to be agree. able to fix the car or not? I don't know. Keep this guy off of me. I don't trust him. Okay. I'm more than just a driver, JJ. I got oh, really? a lot of smarts, more than you do. I know, you're an engineer. Apollonia, where are you right now? Smart enough uh, to let a stranger into the car. I'm just letting them fight. I'm just trying yeah. to see where I am right now. So there's this moment, Apollonia, you're sort of yeah. standing back, aloof. That's what you do. Uh, not really, you, you know, you attaching did. yourself I to mean, anyone. And there's something about seeing the snap in Gordy that reminds you of something that happened in your past, maybe in a previous volume. <laughs> <laughs> There's just something that recalls that, that fear of watching someone slide into madness and just the idea of having to step back into something like this. Um, just that general fear of the unknown, I guess we'll call it. And as that starts to creep in, I need you to roll against your sanity. Okay. That's also a good phobia. <laughs> uh, uh, question for the GM. Right yes. On a D10, so. Outside a game. Mm -hmm. Are you sure uh, given this that one? we have a player here <laughs> at the table who yeah. is of uh, vampire descent mm -hmm. um, and currently has a gash on the face, do vampires oh, heal at a five. rate that yeah. would be noticeable uh, faster than that of a normal human? Not to like the eye. Okay. No, like she's not. Yeah, she's not Wolverine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, that'd be sick though. If I was just like. Yeah. That'd be dope. Um, I get a five. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that thought sort of hits you. You're sort of able to shudder it off. This will not be like that. There's no reason why it would it be. It can't possibly be like that. Uh, you do lose no. one sanity point. All right. Um, there's no tools. In the uh, in the trunk, you guys are sitting next to an overturned car. Well, um, how much further could a place called Fisherville be? I mean, look, we we're we, getting we, kind of far away. Yeah, we, we haven't even checked the engine yet. Look, with the, with all of us uh, very fit and able individuals, I'm sure we could lift this car back over. Maybe see if it starts up. That's our best bet. Look, I just know that we can't be sitting out here in the dark next to these woods for much longer. So we need to get moving on this, okay? You need to put that hat away. Is that hat bothering you, Gordy? Yes, it's bothering me. I think it fits really nice. Just take, take, that well made. take the hat off. Oh, Hello. Two more on there too. Who the fuck is that? Hello, y'all. Had some car trouble. Oh my god, you scared. The you you can't be doing that, yelling out in the dark like that. In the that. woods, you sort of see a light. What are you doing in the woods? Get out. Into Get the it. trees. Show yourself. What happened? 
A car almost hit us and I, I, I lost Somebody control. slid us off the road. Some some jackass out here on the road driving like a crazy individual just knocked us off the road. You, you can help us out, mister. Yeah, I got, I, I'm camped out over here. I got a camp. You just sleeping in the woods? What are you doing just sleeping out of here in the middle of nowhere? Madam well, Rachel, are you? You sort of just uh, sort of see the light like... Are we just going to yell at each other? Uh, look, you guys going to take up some hospitality? I step forward. <coughs> I walk towards the oh, voice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's make sure this isn't one of the tunes. It's a good call. We are close enough to town, and they do like to live out in the woods, according to the boss. Let's just check this out and see what's up. But we just were... You got You want to hide that thing in your pants or anything like that? I guess I... Put <laughs> <laughs> it's... it's I put it back in the <laughs> duffel bag. Okay. Who else going? I'm going. I'm not walking into those woods. I'm staying by the car. Okay. Apollonia is going. Is yeah. anyone else going with Apollonia? I'll go. I'll go. Okay. The three of you are going. The two of you are staying by the car. Yeah. I ain't yeah. going into those woods. Okay. Never going to happen. I take my mag light, even though it, I don't think they fixed it yet, but it's still like kind of like a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's at least like an improvised <laughs> weapon. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you guys sort of head into the woods. Um towards this lantern, and the voice sort of says again, oh, yeah, I'm cooking up dinner. Y'all come on over here. Now be careful out there. Don't we'll be okay. Just don't do anything it's with just stupid. With, it's with my fine. enhanced senses, can I smell like a campfire and anything cooking over it just to see if he's telling the truth? Can I see anything in front of me? Um, you don't... You, you, you smell... Uh, uh, campfire, you smell blood, you know, that sort of people radar that we've talked about. You don't necessarily smell like fresh food being cooked up. That does not necessarily check out to you. Okay, so as we're walking over there, again, um, uh, we just met. Yes. But if you really say that you are part of this and you want to go, with just what's our plan going out there before we just talk to some random people out there? So you guys are walking? Yeah, I kind of were walking out there. Okay. This might be one of the guys from the Toon family. I'm looking at Gordy. I understand. We, we can't look bad in front of the Toon family. No, we're trying to find... I know, we're trying to find them. Yeah. I'm saying like... Yeah. yeah. So just... We're just all out for a joy ride. We had some car problems. Exactly. Things happen in the dark. All right. All right, let's go. So as you guys sort of push into the woods, uh, you walk towards <coughs> the lantern as you sort of step um, through the trees to where this lantern was. There's just nothing there. Hello? Uh, is the voice still speaking to us? Hey, mister. Mister, are you here? We're here. Where, where'd you go? We need help. We got, we got a car problem. Y'all everything okay out there? No, it's not. Everything's okay out there. You, I don't you, see no light no more. You come out, come on out. Do you think maybe he ran out of oil? Uh, maybe, but I don't, I don't know. I don't trust these woods. Yeah, you've been saying uh, that. Uh, let's, uh... You might want to raise that gun again. Guess I pull it out again. <laughs> <coughs> I ain't never had too much experience with the woods myself. I don't you don't go starting on them either. Just stay stay here at the car. Uh, we ain't going anywhere. Well, there's still there's still like a lantern there though. No, no, it's just dark. There's literally like nothing. Um, bugger this! I'm like turn around and I <laughs> go back to. You. As you turn, um, you just see this quick flash of movement <gasps> between the trees, just ahead of you. Now between you guys and the car, it moves quick. But you catch it. What's the wildlife? These two here? may not. Such a deer. Anything else here? I'm new in town. Is that natural? Is that normal? Yeah, deers are moving fast. That's just faster than a deer. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that was. All right, just, just everyone stick behind. To me. your right, you just hear the sound of underbrush and sort of twigs breaking and snapping. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, There's Gordy, how about you yell, "Hey, bear"? Hey bear! <laughs> hey bear! Did you say there's a fucking bear out there? 
Hey, Ben! Did I hear you say there's a Ben? Yo, get, hey, yo, get I've seen a Ben before. Hey, yeah, you grab the other side. Of the, you just said, grab the other side of this car. We're gonna see if we can lift this thing. Okay. Obviously, gonna, we're not strong enough. We're, we're just gonna try to lift the car. Just sitting there trying to lift. Okay. Here's the deal. You are being circled by something. What? You don't know. We're gonna walk slowly back towards the car. As if nothing's wrong. Absolutely nothing's wrong. I wanna, I want, I, as it's happening, I like <coughs> wanna try and fidget with, try and get this flashlight working. Like I'm just like panicking, I'm just like, just trying to get okay. it to like. If you hear me fire, fire. As, as this is happening, roll your electrical. You run. <laughs> I just wanna let that bear out there know I got a gun. Does I got a gun, bear. That's a success. I rolled a 38. I don't think they understand 45. English, JJ. Well, what if it's not a bear? That's the as point. As you guys are starting to move forward, uh, Gordy come on, come on, come on. gets this flashlight come on, come on. to activate. Come on. It lights up. <gasps> towards the direction of the car and the tree where you sort of first saw this thing going at the top, not at the top of the tree, but sort of in the middle of the tree, you just see this clawed hand oh sort of grab a hold of the tree and this just thing starts to push out from the trees and just looming over you guys. What I can only describe <laughs> as just this giant mouth with no face, oh, no. no head, just opens and just screams. Does it burn remind out? me of the thing from the last volume? No. Okay. Bernard, yeah. fire away, Bernard. Bernard, fire that goddamn thing. Fire away, Bernard. Fire it away! shrieks at you. <sighs> okay. Run. Almost is like a challenge. Okay. Run. Okay. And I'm going to fire. Okay. Uh, you fire. Go ahead and uh, roll your... Um, <laughs> Mm, the rifles. You know, the, the shooting that gun there. Yeah, that yeah, one. yeah. Shooting at their gun. That's a success. Woo! <laughs> Get it. Uh, is that like a rope or something in the, in the trunk of this car? Let's no, see who this really is. Oh, it's <laughs> oh, just old man Jenkins. <laughs> okay, that is uh, a success. You <laughs> blast into this thing. Dang. It's point blank. You hit it directly <laughs> in the face. Its face explodes, and the creature just hits the ground. Almost smashing open. Oh. I, I don't, like I don't run. Oh, but I, I'm, that I'm gone. is when you see <gasps> what has smashed now starts to crawl <gasps> back into its shape. Oh. This thing with two front legs sort of up oh like God. this, just dragging this fat <gasps> body as you just see this squirming mass of just maggots and insects just... <gasps> pulling itself back together until the mouth comes out and reforms and screams at you again. I fire what again. I, I hear the first gunshot. While shot. I'm, like, going backwards. <laughs> 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 I've okay. got my gun drawn back up against the car, pointed towards the woods, and I'm just shaking. Holding you two the have gun run. Out. Yes. I saw a run. Same direction. Yeah. I'm running, I'm running towards, towards, the towards the car. Okay. Yeah. Both of you are running towards the car. Um, Flashlight's on. I'm just like. Great. Uh, will you please. Uh, uh, there he is. Gordy, will you please roll your um, um What am I gonna have you roll? Go and roll your dexterity for me. Mm. Oh, that's a forty-five. That's that okay. Good? That's Which literally is right. No, oh! it's over five. It's over no, by five. Okay. Okay, no as you guys, there right? no are three. Oh, do it! Oh, don't get eaten by I'm this thing. I'm gonna use one. Okay, <laughs> can we? Can we just? I wanna. I want at home, starting now. Uh, just somebody in chat. Just we'll have a little tally mark to see how many people use what rerolls. Oh yeah. And we'll do a, We'll do a little There's tally on the suggestion that we make a completely different, separate reroll <laughs> pool for just. <laughs> 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 okay, love. Uh, that's worse. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, yeah. one more. Yeah. Okay. That's worse. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say this. <laughs> Nothing's about to get better. You might want to just. I'm just gonna let it happen. <laughs> no, don't use the last one. Bert was very genuine about <laughs> it, so I have to. Okay. Oh my God. Mmm. Seventy-four. <laughs> so no. Okay. Well, sorry, man. Yeah. I'm out running you. I'm as going. you are as you are running. Uh, Apollonia outpaces you quickly. Um, Physical activity is not necessarily your thing, but uh, you're a vampire. Uh, you run yes. pretty quickly. Um, it's still night. Gordy, as you are running, yeah, you just nighttime. feel something just <gasps> strike oh. 
your throat oh as you're running, just like almost, almost like running into a low-hanging branch, and you hit the ground oh flat on so, your back. So we all see his light, because right now all we can see the is car the light. is his light. So, that so you light would, yeah, you would now, yeah, you would now see this light. I fire go down. wildly towards that direction. Okay. <gasps> I fire toward I fire towards where the light just last was. Okay. Uh, oh my god. In that moment, Gordy, oh. there is a hand, oh. a human hand, just wraps across your throat, and as your sort of eyes adjust and r recover from your head hitting, uh, hitting the ground, you look up and you just see. This man uh, wearing there's ripped pants, no shirt. His neck and chest are smeared and covered in blood, uh, and his face is. At first, you're confused because centaurs aren't real, but then you sort of. <sighs> nor the? Neither are reverse ones, but then. In just this moment that you look up, you start to realize that this, uh, there is an actual horse's head that has just been pulled off of its body that this man is wearing as a mask. And as he oh. reaches up to just cause you pain, there is a gunshot yeah, fired. I'm Where I see that light go down, I'm shooting in that general direction. Two shots. Am I still holding And as he's leaning in towards you, just breathing, the, sh the shots are fired, and he looks up, gives you one last look, you assume, as this just dead creature's eyes are looking uh. down at you, and also you'll need to roll against your sanity. Oh, I love hashtag evil so much. <laughs> Bless both of you. <laughs> and this creature just takes back off oh. into the woods. Oh, that's right. Nope. 86. <laughs> okay. Roll 1d6. Can we hear this thing moving? If it's a big creature, do we hear it yeah. moving through the woods? It's a four. Um, yeah, there's a chance that you heard something running off. So I shoot twice, and then I hear like a rustle and yeah. big movement through the woods like yes. that. Well, I'm... What'd you roll? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, four. Okay. How much sanity have you already lost? Uh, I'm at 42 out of 60. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah, you're having I a think chat loves bad me. day. I think it's <laughs> I think a love, love thing. They love you. They love you so much. I, I feel for you, but I'm also having a great time right now. <laughs> I am running back to As <laughs> the direction of the car, <laughs> yelling out, friendlies, friendlies, friendlies. Gordy, all right, all right, all right, Gordy, Gordy! Friendlies. As Gordy, you find yourself. I'm out there. I don't want to get shot. <laughs> doing something that has always calmed you down, <laughs> and you just start reciting the names of ideas for inventions <laughs> that you've had. No. Just sort of calmly to yourself. <laughs> it's sort of what has always centered you, but now it's almost like it's necessary almost. You you are doing this to not break your brain. Sweat sweater blanket. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, a weight, a, a jugular weight that between that's in your hands. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> uh, 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 je a jello, but it's actually. The other two of you have gotten uh, back to the car? Yes. If, Where's if Gordy? I could. Where's Gordy? I'm immediately running to yeah. like the side of the car. Okay. And, like, it out, okay. and then I'm just like putting the rifle on and I'm looking that way. I okay. see him do this and I follow up right behind here. him. Same here. I've got the <laughs> <gun>. <laughs> like, uh, All right, where's Gordy? Where's Gordy? What was out there? He, Gordy ran with you. He told, you told us to run. Yeah, where's Not Gordy? Together. Where's Gordy? He didn't. I, I saw his light go down. I shot in that general direction. Then I you hit shot him. Gordy? I, no, I didn't shoot at Gordy, okay? Like if something attacked him, I was shooting whatever that thing was. I saw his light hit the ground. I shot above it. You saw it? No. The light went down. Did you shoot Gordy? No. I. An order of events here. Light went down. I shot to wherever, whatever took the light down in that general direction. And then I heard something big moving away. Something big. Gordy! Gordy! Orange juice with soda water. Gordy! Can I hear him? Can you hear? Gordy. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be able to. No, he's he's there. He's there? He's well, how the fuck do you know that? He's, he's so saying wrong. something like orange juice with soda water. How the water. fuck do you know I can't hear shit? Yeah, it's true. I have it's excellent hearing. Oh, it's real, real excellent. He says, sweat a blanket. Uh, I'm going to go. Wait. Here, hold, hold on. a world-class athlete, you, too. I know what you, you got here first. Can you hold this? 
<laughs> I'm gonna go to like the, I don't know. Old As he cars. hands you the rifle, Florence, will you roll your spot hidden? Yeah. Sure. Uh, that is not gonna do it. Um, did <laughs> did Matt use all the rerolls? Yes. <laughs> cool. Uh, my bad. As as uh as Bernardus, Florence as Bernardus handing you huh? the rifle, something. A shape just suddenly swoops. At me? Yes. At you, and then just right past ah! you. Between both of you. Uh, everyone probably saw this, but this thing just <laughs> comes in. It's a bat. It's got to be a... Yeah. Now. What did you see just out there? Bernard, as you, you sort of follow your gaze up, you were right on the money. There's just this owl sitting in oh. the branches, just sort of just watching. I just ignore it. I go to the car uh, light. Okay. Right, like the f the 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 uh, headlights. Okay. And I'm trying to like, cause I'm sure it's an old timey car. I don't know if I can like yeah, turn yeah, it yeah, out yeah, yeah. No, into the that. direction of oh, yeah, where. The oh yeah, yeah. Oh, the headlights yeah, yeah. on the uh, car. Okay. Yeah. For interesting. Sure. Interesting. <coughs> uh, Gordy is at. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so you're you're able to shine enough light in the I don't, forest. That I don't stop looking at that bird. That thing freaks me out. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not taking my eye off that 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 fl flying rat up there in that tree. It's just watching Florence. I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop looking at it. Okay. Uh, you turn the light. You you see enough. You see Gordy sort of lying on the ground, in the woods. He looks. Al he seems to be alone. Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna cover? Why are you gonna look at the stupid what? owl? Is he okay there? Are Why you that away? That, that, was, that owl won't stop looking at us. Something's wrong here. Yes, yeah, it's, just it's an a owl. fucking owl. I don't. I don't like these woods. We need to get this car up and running. We need to get out of here. Cover me. You got it. <laughs> I'm watching that. I'm watching that. And I'm walking out like a rat. <coughs> to Gordy. Okay. Uh, a God, I'm going to die. This is stupid. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> a rubber tube where you can put yogurt in it and take it with you on the go. Uh, uh, and squeeze it out. Uh, uh, a, a little kid shooting toys, but it's like... It's like, it's like I wish I had told like you we're, anything we're like that. <laughs> I like that this is just things Matt thinks are inventions. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm I'm walking okay. out to him. Okay. Uh, you sort of walk out. Uh, you're sort of remaining in the light. Yeah. Cold you, you, coffee. You get to him. You're able to get to him. I, I reach down. Put a hand on his shoulder. Gordy. Gordy. Do you know where you're at? Do you know who I am? I, I hope. I hope this is. I hope I'm dreaming. I, Gordy, you don't know who this is. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I, what, what's happening? Who are you? Who, who are you? What, do you? what are you doing? Did you attack me? No. Oh, I'm where, where, where am I? I'm Bernard, Gordy. Okay. I I'm. Don't, I don't know a Bernard. I'm, I don't. I'm your friend. I'm here to help you. You're my friend. But right now, you're in the forest. And we're gonna get up out of the forest. Are you okay with that? I, I, Do you want to get out of the dirt? Yeah. yeah Let's I get out of the dirt. I don't. I don't want to be here right yeah. now. What were you saying there, Gordy? I'm kind of like picking him up. What were you saying something about something? I was just thinking it would be convenient if we had <coughs> a, a tube where we could put yogurt in, and then we could take it on the go and slurp it out. That'd be real convenient. You know, that'd be real convenient. It's kind of like, and I'm walking with him. We used to have food we'd eat and that'd be you know that'd be really convenient out yeah right right so you get it you get it you, you get yeah. it mister you yeah. get it yeah so we're gonna walk this way now okay okay and what Cordy what was the last thing you remember do I remember what just the happened? last thing the last thing you really sort of feel like you remember is getting ready to board the idle wild that's the last thing you can clearly remember is getting on the ramp. Well, last thing I, I remember, I was, I was about to board a ship. I was about to board a ship called the Idol. Had a Idol job. You had a job. I had a job. I had a job to do. I had a. I was the driver. Uh, are, yeah. Are they close enough that we can I hear was this the driver. conversation? I, now? Yeah, as they're sort I'm, of walking. I'm, uh, I'm picking up rocks off the ground and I'm throwing them at this owl. I'm like, "Fucking rat, get out of here!" I was, I was supposed okay. to be the driver. I, I, I'm, I'm late. I, I'm probably late. I, I can't be late. I need the. I need this. I need. I need this job. Yeah. Well, you're we're with people that aren't here to hurt you, and we'll get you to your job. 
Just Thanks. just sit right over here. And I'm, if I'm back at there, I'm kind of like looking at everyone. Look, I don't want to alarm anybody, but this this flying rat ain't stopping looking at Florence. It's kept its eye on Florence the entire time. Everywhere Florence goes, that thing follows. What? It's not even paying any attention to me as I'm throwing rocks at it. <coughs> Mind you, oh. they're all looking in one direction. I'm going to look in the other direction just so nothing sneaks up on us. Okay, go sure. Go walk over there. I do. I like I walk further. I walk further away. Okay, so. sort of towards Apollonia. Where are you going? Uh, just just wandering, just testing the bird thing out. Okay, as you walk, it mm -hmm. its head just slowly scans God, to I follow you. I fucking told you, man, that flying rat's got something against Florence. Uh, and Florence, now that you know, thinks you're food or something. This initial burst of fear, you know, where's Gordy? Uh, even the wreck itself, this is sort of past. You sort of look down and you realize you're you're holding a gun. This is this is um. <laughs> Clearly, still have your gun. <laughs> you know, this is the one thing that you fear is going to probably end happiness for you in one way or another forever. This is this is a tool you want nothing to do with. That you are uncomfortable with, and now here you are in the woods, holding one. And I need you to roll against your sanity mm. because you have a phobia of firearms. Oh, chat did this. Firearms. <laughs> chat did this. We find solutions, uh, they find problems. Do we have any rerolls? No, we don't. Dang. I'm so I just barely failed. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roll 1d6. Okay. If we get rerolls, I'll use one. <laughs> Wait, did we just hit our first roll? Have we? That's a three. I think we did. Right. Did we hit? Uh, can someone let me know if we hit our uh, first roll? I think goal? we did. Okay. Well, I was reaching for it, but now I'm afraid of what's happening. <laughs> What'd you roll? Uh, three. Okay. This wave of emotion sort of hits you, and you find yourself dropping the gun on this dirt road and just crumpling to your knees on the ground and just sobbing. <laughs> what is I'm sorry. I just... Oh, it's... It's because of these goddamn things and all of the and all the, the craziness that the, those gangsters get involved in. It's just, I'm sorry. It just, this is this is the reason why it, it had to end the way that it did. And I, I, I thought that I could handle it. I thought that I could prove that I could hang with that kind of lifestyle. But I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but I'm gonna take this back. But not shoot that rat. <laughs> you're fine now. It's gonna be everyone's losing their fucking but minds. But not shoot that rat. It won't stop looking at Florence. It's gonna but like pick her up and fly her out of here. Do I see this flying it's owl? It's not big enough to pick me up and fly me out. We don't know that. You God damn it! And I just shoot the fucking <laughs> owl. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll uh, your uh, <laughs> firearms uh, rifle. <laughs> Yeah, it's a success. Yeah, it's a success. Okay. Uh, this owl just explodes in a puff of blood and oh, feathers. Thank, thank Are we God. good? Are we fucking good? Uh, Gordy, as you I feel so much sort better. of look up to watch this owl get shot, you're still confused. You're still uh, disoriented. You've lost time. Uh, you've lost something. But you do see something familiar. Um, about... Are you on the ground? I walk over to About you, you sort of you, you sort of follow where Apollonia is walking towards Florence and about 20 30 feet past Shot. them you see a familiar shape mm -hmm. on the ground it oh. is just a circular piece of plastic <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? oh no I run towards it's it oh, it's me. I, I oh, just I, got him back I must have dropped it I it's, it's there. It's there. It's Gordy, here. Gordy, where are you going? Get back I here. I have to get my flight flying disc. As Gordy, Gordy, as you run, you sort of run past uh, huh? Apollonia and Florence, and you get to the disc, and it's just 20 to 30 feet ahead of you on the ground. It's, it's right there. I, I At Gordy, this point, Gordy is just running down the street into the darkness. Down. It's my invention. It's going to make them, It's gonna make hundreds. No, I might not be able to deal with all those guns and all the shooting, but I'm gonna stop him from whatever he's doing, and so I go running after Gordy. And crumbs. Okay. I, I mean, I feel a lot better now, but but now that you shot that uh, flying <laughs> rat out of that tree, I'm. I'm. That was a good shot. I'm glad. 
I got to take. I got. I got to take this. Florence is yeah. running after Gordy. Gordy. Um, yeah, I'm trying to catch him. Apollonia, you're just sort of watching them take off. What are you doing? I'm just standing there. Okay. I'm gonna I walk next to you because yeah. you seem the most sane person <laughs> to me right now. Okay. <laughs> JJ. What the bloody hell is going on? I, I'm just uh, chilling with my cane. I don't really. Uh, <laughs> I thought I knew. I thought I knew. I thought I saw. Look. No, owls just live in the woods. <laughs> We're losing our minds. Uh, will you two? Um, <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, we, we, uh, we, yeah. definitely, we definitely did hit our goal. We are hour. We're not even done with hour one. <laughs> That's <laughs> amazing. Going okay, so we insane. hit. We hit our first goal. Oh, they really right? want the uh, elven god to show up. That's so, not cool. So here's a couple of a couple of things okay. that I need to have happen. Okay. Sure, sure. We will pause. For I need okay. disaster. <laughs> one moment. I've like completely forgot that I shot a thing and it turned mm -hmm. into like maggots and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I've had to like do crisis control. <laughs> it's gonna come back to me at a moment and be like, wait, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah. <laughs> right. But I'm like right now I'm just like, I just what's your shoot what is your move rate? My move rate. It should be in your characteristics. Yes. Gordy, what's yours as well? Characteristics. Mine's nine. Okay. <sighs> Coffee seven. Okay. Oh. Seven. So there's a, you're able to sort of catch up yes. after a moment. You've got you guys have run pretty far ahead of the rest of the group, but you're able to catch up. What are you trying to just um, tackle to him? Tackle him, yeah. Okay, so you're able to uh, sort of jump forward and at least sort of get him stopped. Gordy, get a hold hey, of yourself. Hey, what are you doing? Get off of me, lady! Stop! I can't get you my going? invention. I can't get my invention. We gotta stick together. So this We're strange, alone in the this dark woods out here. This strange lady has tackled you in the dark woods. Why am right. I out you here? You don't know what? who anybody is. He doesn't is. remember. That's I don't know that who he doesn't remember. You? That's right. What? How did it's I me, get it's out here? It's Gordy. We met on the ship. On the ship? I have. I haven't been to a ship yet. I'm going to a ship now. We were all on that fancy cruise line earlier. What do you mean? Mr. Marizano, he sent us all out in the woods to try to find the Toon family in Fisherville or something. They got some illegal bootlegging business. Don't you uh, remember hold anything? On one sec. What do you want? I'm just rolling something for myself. <laughs> okay. That's a, cool. Okay. Yeah. We were saying that we already had this. Uh, this happened. Yeah, it's uh, it's in the past. You were driving us in the car, I the, don't the one back there. I don't remember who you are. I don't remember. Any of that Florence, I'm a dancer driving. on the ship. As you're talking to Gordy, you sort of notice out of the corner of your eye, there's just a handwritten sign with an arrow that says Fisherville, one mile. Um, Bernard. Oh, no. Uh, as you are sort of just standing next to Apollonia, sort of trying to take stock of I what's happening. What the bloody hell is you going on? You can't really shake the very recent memory that you shot a maggot <laughs> thing <laughs> in yeah, the okay, face. Good. Good. Yes. And whether it's the war, whether it's something else, it triggers a flashback that causes a bout of madness. <laughs> okay, wait, that's a flashback. Take a moment. And as Apollonia is talking to me, the words just kind of disappear as I'm staring out in that forest. I mean, owls do live in the forest here, right? <laughs> <laughs> and the more and more I, I look at that it can't just be an English thing. creature in my mind's eye, I think back to No Man's Land. And how when you're out there for so long, things would start to play tricks on you. Especially me, as I was out on my own for so long. You start to see things. You start to see things. It's a tree, and then it starts to be a monster, or some sort of skull staring at you, and it's a gas mask. More and more, I think back to this creature and this thing that I saw. I realize that unlike all those other times where people around me lost their nerves of steel, I realize that what it was was just some ordinary thing. This, this felt too real. It smelled too real. And I guess I rolled. Roll one d4. Oh, fuck. Oof. Uh, damn. One. Oof. Okay. You it felt real, but I did shoot it in the <laughs> fucking face. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You face. lose one. It was pretty dope. Sanity. And we did hit our goal. Yeah. I did roll that one d6. <laughs> Apollonia. <laughs> oh, dear God. Oh, God. <laughs> Something has been gnawing sort of in the back of your mind 
first there was the familiarity of what was happening to Gordy. Just something felt wrong about it. You flash. You flash to Alice. You flash to that James Cullen. wrong memory <laughs> James of your father. <laughs> you flash to Eliza ripping the throat out of that man. You... But then you start to flash forward more to realizing that you had lost your spot in the, in the pecking order that you have spent your whole life creating and building in London. This trip so far has just really hammered it home that you are no longer in control. Is it because she's hanging out with us losers? <laughs> and it's not necessarily something that's going to drive you absolutely just crazy, insane, but for the first time in a very long time, you feel vulnerable. You feel weak. And more than that, you feel scared. Why is this happening again? Those are the instincts that you are operating from for the rest of this episode. Just the episode. Yeah, oh, we'll we see. Get, we <laughs> <laughs> a crazy half vampire. That, I'm hey. sure that'll be fine. JJ? No, Bernard? No, 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 no. Miss yeah, Fancy yeah, City Lady? Yeah, Florence, you out there? Yeah. You got Gordy? I got him. And and I think I found the, the way to Fisherville. Yeah, hopefully it's with uh, some sort of vehicle or uh, no, maybe a carriage or something. No, there's a sign here that says it's only one mile away. Oh, we one can mile walk in that. the dark. Yeah, we can walk that. That's not it. Yeah, we can. I got walk a fucking that. bum leg. Well, huh. can't Bernard Bernard carry Bernard you or something? Bernard. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah, Bernard, looks like you're gonna be carrying <laughs> me to uh, Fisherville. <laughs> War hero. <laughs> Is it worth it? Is it really worth it? Fuck it. I go to the car, and I'm trying to, at this point, then make some sort of stretcher or something. Okay, you walk away from um, yeah, give this me a English woman who is now sort of talking to herself. Yeah. Gordy, you think you can walk the rest of the way to Fisherville? Yeah, I, th I think you can walk. Is my, is my uh, flying uh, fight flight flying disc there? Oh, no, it's not this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I could have sworn it. I, 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 I can't walk. F I, Fisherville, I did... I didn't. I don't know about Fisherville. Uh, no. Yeah. Wh wh what's Fisherville? What it's where we're supposed to go. It's where you were driving us to. So you're saying that I already got the details. Yeah. I can't remember anything. Well, that's a what shame. What happened to me? I don't know. You. Well, y you crashed the the car that that we were driving oh, in. No. No. Maybe maybe it's gonna, it's gotta be well, amnesia or it's something. No, it said you it says you said that you swerved out of the way because there was another car coming at us and you were trying to save us. Bernard, will you please roll? Okay. Your um okay natural world. Mm. Oh, natural world. What you doing over there, Bernard? Mm. I, I I you know I'm kind of just half messing with you. I I, I could limp my way there. I'd, it'd be <laughs> a lot more pleasurable if I had some sort of form of transportation. But if I gotta do it, I'll do it. You know, I don't want to hold everybody back here. I'm fully confident that we have a thousand rerolls. Is <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't have any rerolls. Uh, that's a huge failure. I, I rolled an 87 say. on okay. a 10. So you take a minute. You sort of pull. Um, <laughs> you sort of pull some cloth material from the car. You manage to find two, s a couple of sticks. And it's just not you're it's you're, not you're shaking up, you're having a hard time focusing, and the stretcher you're sort of trying to build is just not just throw coming together. Look, I I can make it work, but I I appreciate you trying to to look out for me. But if I, if I yeah, gotta limp yeah. my way into town, yeah, I'll limp my way into town. Yeah, Listen, it's fun. Gordy, do you remember you, you used to use. have this this yeah, thing? All right, you all right. Let's 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 start walking. You were carrying around Fuck with the you. Fuck the car. It it like it's bosses, just though. made light out of nowhere. Oh, did you pick up the? Did we pick up the flashlight when we picked me up? Did you? Nope. Okay. I don't think we did. Then nope. it's in the woods. Shit. Uh, nope. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, you talk about my. I was making a flashlight. Uh, so the two of you I are. Can't find it. The two of you sort of walk past Apollonia. Yeah. Well, that's you a want shame. Come and. No. That hey. Really is it worth it? What? That really is no. Oh. I could always go back to London. Come on, mystery Fucking lady. Christ. Let's go. At this point now, I got, I got, this <laughs> dude on <laughs> this arm. I go put one arm underneath. 
Apollonia. Don't bloody touch me! Yeah, maybe you should touch her. Yeah, All right. we'll just keep cool. walking, okay? All right. Maybe we don't touch her. I'm just walking cool. down the road. Okay. Who are you two? Who are you three? Gordy, I'm your father. <laughs> no, you're not. No the shit. Fuck? Come I on, let's go. Oh, okay. Hey, where's the fancy lady who talks funny? She's back there. Come on, fancy lady that talks funny. You gotta walk to the next town. You wanna be out here alone. Unless you yeah, like the doc. Miss, uh. Miss Wayworth, was it? And almost on cue, the headlights of the car finally give out and die. <laughs> well, this is fucking great. No, he's about to You're gonna have to walk through the dock anyway. If I had my flashlight, we could we could walk in the light, but I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, you don't seem to know a lot that's going on, do you, Gordy? Well, this I can't get your name. I'm sorry. It's Florence. Florence. Uh, Florence caught me up a little bit. I can't seem to remember before. I can't seem to remember the us even meeting at the boat. Before you were sort of walking, talking? Yeah, sure. Okay. At this point, I'm Miss kind of like motioning. Can you at least help me out then? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, thanks, Cody. Thanks. You know, I, just, I don't want to slow you down. I'm sort of lingering because she hasn't followed us yet, has no. she? Okay. No, no she has not. Uh, Stop. Miss Wayworth? I don't think it's a good idea for you to just stand here all alone in the dark. It's not worth it, is it? No. I'm sorry, I, I can't understand what you're saying. Are, are you talking to me? You're, you're going to have to talk a little louder. There are ways. There are ways. That's a giant mouth clinging to a tree. I'm not going through this. It's insanity. No, I'm not. I didn't know we had a Brit on the mission. Yeah, neither did we. Yeah. That's kind of your fault. <laughs> Never mind. It's a long story, Gordy. How far is it to Louisville? Um, Equidistant to Fisherville? No. You're like a, like probably less than a mile away from Fisherville. You're you're a good night, day and a half walk back. And hey, like lady! Through the dark to Louisville. Lady, come on. We can't leave you out here. Yeah, it wouldn't be right. So the lesser of two evils right now is going to Fisherville. Lesser of two evils. Come on! I hear you, yes. Mm -hmm. Look, if you don't want to walk with us, just walk behind us. Yeah. I'll, s I'll no stay. No one's going to touch you. Oh, we could just leave her here since we don't know why she was coming with us yeah. in the first place. At this point. If, I it, if we just keep walking and she doesn't follow us, problem solved but to the boss, right? But you keep going on and on about all the bad stuff in the woods. Yeah, that's you true. wouldn't just leave her alone to, to die or get eaten all by... All right, all right, all right. We've all been through some stuff together. I understand. No. <laughs> Papa would let me. I still can't uh, understand I you. Go, I go up to her and I just like hug her. Don't bloody. <laughs> <laughs> I try don't, to hug her. Do don't. not bloody touch me Nobody without touched. my consent. She does says that. Hey, it's okay. I'm just here letting you know we're all in this together now. We're, we're, we got this, okay? It's going to be all right. There's another wrestling in the woods near <laughs> you guys. Right across the street from where the car is. Uh, is this an animal? We probably have a bunch of animals here. Well, we ought to get out of here. It's going to be okay, but we can't leave you nice out here baby. alone. Nice, nice. Don't worry, Miss Wayworth. I'll, I'll, I'll keep you safe from all these men. You just walk with me. I'm not afraid of men. I just don't like when they don't touch me, when they touch me without my permission. Yeah. So you walk by the club. Well, Bernard, we lost one of Boss's cars. Yep. Mm -hmm. We still got a mission to do. Maybe it's if we complete this thing, mess find the missing people, uh, we can come out of this alive. Sound good? So you're the sure. other two. We'll make it out of this alive. I yeah. to you. The I other two that I was supposed to be on yeah. the job with you, and we somehow got roped in with these two. One away. How'd you let that happen? <laughs> you were the one that brought her. You along. invited me. <laughs> yeah, I brought her along for her special skills. You know, as I approved by the boss, she worked on the boat. This lady, though, we don't know anything about. Well, she's with us now, so we might as well just keep going forward. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. Yeah, at the very least Sounds we can do about is right. bring her to the town. What, what does that so mean? <laughs> as you guys sort of continue yeah. forward, wizard, uh, a, a, a shitty Wizard of Oz kind of walk. <laughs> <laughs> so we're like, yeah. <laughs> got him. <laughs> it's just all linked yeah. in it. Yeah. Um, after walking for, uh, for a little while longer dark um, every now and then there's enough of 
movement on one side or the other sort of keep you on edge, but nothing really happens. Uh, and you... Uh, eventually the trees sort of start to die off and you're just walking alongside fields until the first thing you see is a sign and it just says gas. Gas. Sort of no see gas this station? Well, you s yes. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. As you, you know, like the beacon of the golden yeah. arches is a promise of McDonald's. You yeah. sort of mm -hmm. see the sign first oh. and as you're walking forward you see this gas station. Uh, behind it you see um, a handful of lights, some flickering, mm -hmm. some sort of steady, like they're electric lights. Civilization. Say, w once we get to Fisherville, what exactly is it we're supposed to do? <sighs> I thought we were supposed to try and find some of the bosses. People who have gone missing. That's correct. You're trying to confirm the status of yeah. I believe of these men. If I'm not mistaken, one whose name was Bobby. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was it more than one? Uh, it's mm -hmm. five guys total. Bobby's okay. the only name that you guys were really told. Got it. Okay. So that's the mission. Bobby. Yeah. That's that's really interesting. Five of them went missing, and now here's five of us with a busted up car and a bunch of weird shit in the woods. Well, maybe Toon family didn't have anything to do with it, or maybe this has everything to do with the Toon family. Well, I, I guess we just gotta go find these Toons and ask them. So you guys are sort of just continuing to walk. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh. So everyone seems pretty frazzled. I, I'm sorry about the car. When uh, we will go by this gas station, are there any cars there? Any parked cars? No, there's no parked cars. Mm -hmm. uh, there is, uh, as you as you get close, you do see there is a guy that is literally just sitting in a seat in like a chair next That's to the comforting. next mm -hmm. to the pumps. Yeah, just just sitting and looking. <laughs> hey, old timer. Is he old or is he? Can't He's really, an old -timer can't really tell from there. where you are. Sure. And hey, Mister. He sort of like looks up and sort of adjusts. He wasn't really paying attention, sort of straightens up a little bit and stands up. The hell are you doing out here in the dark? We got into an accident back down the road. I, uh, you wouldn't know anybody to be able to give us a ride, hitch us into town by any chance, would you? This late at night, might be something in it for you. There might be somebody at Murray's. And you sort of see him gesture. Who the fuck's Murray? I think it's the name of a place. Yeah, I get that, but... Murray owns Murray's. I should have figured that as well. Small town. Great. <coughs> okay, well, thank you so much for your help, sir. As you guys walk by, Make he's our just way sort over of there. just eyeing you guys like, what in the hell? Y'all have a good night. You too. you too. No hope in that. So as you pass the gas station, oh. uh, a little further, just like, not yards away it's just like a you know sort of in the same block across the street there is um what looks to be you know a small restaurant with a dirt parking lot in the front and there's just a sign that says eat um all right you know i love little diners few, like that there's a couple of houses mm -hmm. um the best you do see people inside um what you can assume is murray's the lights are on there's okay. folks inside. Uh, <coughs> do, I know. I know you don't want to be touched, Miss. But um, no, it's just polite not to touch someone. Yeah, without yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not gonna happen. Don't worry about it. But we might want to. You covered in blood. What? Your uh. face is uh, gashed open there. It looks real bad. We might want to cover that up before we go into this diner here. To cause a ruckus. Which? Oh. Does anyone know any first aid? I do. Ah. Uh. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't. May I touch you? Thank you for asking. Maybe you'd ask that in a little less creepy way next yeah, time. Yeah, great. <laughs> well, you know, it'd be 
clear about this. And I like open up my duffel and I pull out my first aid and I'm slowly trying to clean it up, bandage. Okay. Would you please roll your first aid? Sure. This would be a regular normal roll. You do have one reroll. Hey. Don't need it because I oh, scored so. a 19 on a 50. Oh, damn. Okay, so you take a moment, uh, you know, but it's just sort of a standing job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bernard sort of takes a moment. He cleans. He cleans up your face. Um, there's not a hugely like deep gash. He mostly just you know kind of cleans it up. Um, it just bled a lot. Yeah, it's just yeah. kind. It's just kind of a bleeder. Yep. That's what we call it in the biz. Um, I don't know what that meant. So basically, kind of gets you cleaned up. Sort of determines that you don't really need like a giant piece of gauze yeah, on yeah. your face it's or anything like that. You'll, you'll be yeah. fine. Takes a moment, holds it against your head, stops the bleeding. Yeah. Thank you, sir. She's a tough broad, ain't she? Yeah. I don't I don't even know. What, what? I'm English. Enough said. If you say so. Uh, here, honey, if you want to check your face. I hand her a, like, compact. No, no need. Are you sure? I'm not society right now. I trust his word. Well, all right then. All right. Well, uh, I guess I don't even I don't even know what to do right now. Well, we're gonna go into Murray's and see if we can find someone to get us the rest of the way into town. Above game, aren't we technically just at the outside of the town? Yeah, we're we're in the town. We're in town now. You're in town. Yeah. Why don't oh, we just go see? Th- we should just go see the. And town is a gas station. Yeah. A diner. Yeah. A couple of houses. Yeah. And more woods. Yeah. Should we go well, into the diner and just ask around? That's hey, what I'm saying. You know, yeah. Leave the asking to the two on the job. All right. I'm, Maybe on, the, I'm on the job too. You're the driver, Gordy. Oh, I'm on the job. No asking questions from Gordy. How's that <sighs> sound? No inviting strange people into I our car. Who walk ahead that? of them. And you did that, Gordy. Open the door to the diner. You know what? I see her. I do, Cause they're arguing again. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna follow. Suit. Yeah. Okay. You're sort of yeah. sticking close to uh, to Florence. Yeah. Cause I'm sick of hearing them argue. Yeah. Sure. Here's the deal. He's gonna go in there. He's gonna do his stupid shit about it, of his inventions or whatever. He's gonna read yeah. the room. If they beat him up. We realize that this town is rough. If they don't, then we use it as a parlay for you go in there and you chat them up and try and figure out where this Bobby character went. All right. I'm going to stay I outside. I figure he goes in first. He starts talking. Yeah. Whether or not they kick the shit out of him, they're at least going to remember whether or not somebody else weird came in here not long ago. That's true. I mean, it has been like three weeks. So, so Apollonia, as you are following Florence inside, I, I do want to remind you, you're not well right now. <laughs> you are... <laughs> unsettled. You're unsettled. You are very low. However... Uh, a memory sort of flickers across that uh, sort of helps and emboldens you a little bit. Just uh, uh Am I entering the diner? Or yeah, as you enter you're the entering diner? the diner, yeah, there's sort in. of a yeah, there's sort of a memory that uh, a positive memory flashback that sort of kicks across. All right. As I enter the room, the lights change. It is rather warm in here. I'm back home. A pa standing in front of me. He's not well. And he hands me the key to the nightingale. And he said, it's all yours, little bird. I trust you, my love. I reach out. you, Papa. Have you lost it? How much sanity have you <coughs> lost? Uh, just the one. Okay. I mean, a fit like a fish rolling right? and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we won't roll this. Go ahead and fill that one back in. Okay. Um, but unofficially, because we hit our goal, mm-hmm. you oh, are no. unwell. Unwell. You are on the brink. Um, as the three of you. <coughs> I think it was just the two of us, the As three the guys who started arguing. No, we, we, we send Gordy in. Where's the... Uh, yeah. Okay. As I mean, the three of you are walking towards the diner, mm-hmm. 
There's just no this plan out of the work. corner of your eye, Florence. You hear it huh? before you see it. You hear it calling, and you glance up at a tree next to the building, and you just see that owl. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> Just hey. watching. I don't see it. Miss. Miss. Wait, wait, is that. What? Is that the same bird that we saw before? Uh, owls not common here. I don't know. I'm not from around here. In America. They're not well, common here. We have them in America, I guess. There's only I never one seen owl them. per town, per state, per county. Well, I don't know. I ain't never seen one outside of the zoo. Just another one. Looks like yeah. the lady stopped at the door. Yeah, just a coincidence. I don't huh. know. I think I was. Uh, I uh. No chance. I I'll like right wave here. at the owl. It doesn't do anything. It just watches. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Gordy's oh, wow. going on in though. Yeah, yeah I, I can go on in. You just, what you just what walk right past them and go on into the diner. Who, who yeah. are they waving to? I don't know. Okay. Can I see the owl if I look? Yeah. Okay, if I see it, I don't say <laughs> shit to you. <laughs> what the hell are they waving at? I don't know. She's just, waving, uh, yeah. Lady folks, they don't know. Okay. It's got to just be a coincidence. So, Gordy, you walk into the diner? Yeah. Okay. Um, hey, Gordy, wait up. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I run after Gordy. What are you waving at? One of you in chat's going to have to uh, let me know when that I'm bad at math and can't keep mm -hmm. track of this cumulative thing you guys are doing, so let me know when it hits 75. Uh, okay, so you walked into the diner? Yeah. Um... Okay, you sort of pop in. There's a, there's a jangle. There's sort of a, you know, a bell. Uh, as you walk in, there's a few people inside. It's, it's, you know, it's not a big place. It's maybe uh, the dining area itself is probably about the size of this room. Oh, small. Uh, there's a small bar. Uh, there are a couple gentlemen sort of sitting at the bar. They were just had mugs of something. They sort of glance. As you come in, mm -hmm. they give you a pretty long glance. It's late into the evening, <laughs> and who are you? Uh, you see uh, another gentleman at a booth. See if Gordy does what you, we know him to do. Well, <laughs> here's the thing. I sent the man in there who doesn't know what he's doing or where he's at. <laughs> I just know that he can sell these stupid things. So, literally, he doesn't know what he's doing, and I'm counting on it, and that's why you're going to go in there <laughs> and assess I the situation. All right, well, let's see what Gordy does. Yeah. I mean, if we start seeing people get up and running towards him, I might let it play out a little bit just for shits and giggles. He but did we'll crash we'll the car. Yeah. So I'm I, I still put that on myself. Um, I want to uh, walk up to the, like, bar area and just sit down. Okay. Uh, sure. So you go ahead mm -hmm. and uh, sit down. Uh, Gordy, where, where are you sort of heading? Uh, I go sit down at the bar. At the bar, and I wanna. Is there like a wait waiter <laughs> or a waitress or? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. What's a girl got to do to get a cup of coffee around here? Uh, one of the gentlemen sort of glances up and just sort of gives you a weird look. Uh, he's got he's got glasses, sort of messy, reddish brownish hair. He kind of gives you a look, kind of looks you up and down, and uh, glances at his, uh, there's a bigger guy next to him, and he kind of nudges him, and he's like, get her, get her a cup of coffee, man. Move. Come on. Go. Lee, go. <coughs> and uh, this bigger guy sort of gives you a look like he's very frustrated that now all of a sudden he's having to get up and move, and he sort of walks to go back uh, behind the counter. Hey, Florence, what was the mission? <laughs> <laughs> Florence, you'll what, gotta, you'll what have am to I doing? You'll have to what am I, do I, didn't, I don't I, remember what the mission was. You'll have was. to forgive my friend Gordy here. He's had a little bit of a rough night. You see, we had some car trouble about a mile outside of town, so we just had to walk here in the dark. It was real scary. You interrupted your mission, huh? Uh, I, I ain't got any idea what he's talking about. Where are you from? You're not from here. No, I'm from New York originally. I like that accent. I'm from, from Cincinnati. I Gee. didn't. I didn't ask you, son. She <laughs> <Gee>, thinks. <laughs> uh, 
Apollonia, have you come in? I've just perched. <laughs> Listen. I, uh... I feel like I just met your dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, uh... I, I, uh... A girlfriend of mine... Sorry. Her, ah, okay, I'm here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Say, sorry. Uh, a, a girlfriend of mine, uh... Her fella was, uh, out and about this her way. Fella. Yeah. I... I feel like you don't get too many visitors in this town. Forgive me if I'm being rude. No, you're not being... You're not being rude. That's accurate. You had any visitors as of late? None as pretty as y'all. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of problems is he having? Well, All it, of them. This one here, yeah. Head he, problems? I've, he hit I've his head real hard. And I can't seem to find... Now, don't freak out when I tell you this. I made an invention. Uh, it's, it's like a... <laughs> Well, go back to the ancient Greeks and how they would use flying discs. I can tell discs. by the way he's using his hands that he's pitching right now. Yeah. yeah. Right. As you, <laughs> as you were talking, See the guy just casually sort of just takes out a knife and just sort of puts the pointy end into the counter, and he's just turning it as he's listening to you talk. That's all. And it's fun. You, it's a flying it's a That's light a flying real, uh, disc. Fancy knife you got there. Was it a, a, a hunting knife? You see, I ain't never really been outside of the city before, so all of this is really new and confusing to me. Oh, well, you know, it's, um, you know, not all, not too much exciting goes on around here, but uh, no, we make do. We have a good time. Any uh, excitement as a late? Well, what are you ladies looking to get into? What are mm. you proposing? Kind of grins and his buddies kind of chuckle. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he kind of looks around. He glances at the guy that's at the booth, who's just sort of focused on a book, not really paying attention to to the three of you. Hmm. And he turns around and uh, he's like, well, "What's your name again?" Oh, I don't think I ever uh, introduced myself. You didn't. Actually, it's uh, it's May. May. Yeah, May Lewis. May Lewis, nice to meet you. And your friend? Apollonia Wayworth. Apollonia Wayworth. That's a beautiful name, ma'am. She's uh, from England. Across the pond. All right. Well, hell, welcome to Fisherville. Thank you. <laughs> uh, more welcome than I have these people here. God oh. save the queen. <laughs> Let uh, me. I'm Jeremy. Hello, Jeremy. Hello, Under Jeremy. my breath, I go. It's... <coughs> it's uh, <laughs> Lee, John, and Rouse over here. I'm Gordy. They're all just kind of like, uh, and he kind of gives you a look. Uh huh. Gordy Fitzgerald. Yep. Inventor. Entrepreneur. Yeah. Really? Yes. Gordy, you want a coffee? Man, I, would, I think I would really love a coffee. All right, Benad. I feel like at this point we're just standing out here in the cold <laughs> and resting to get dinner and coffee. Help yourself over there, man. There's a there's a whole fresh pot. You just go right behind the counter. They won't get mad. Oh, all right. Well, well, thank you. You're welcome. As soon as he walks away, just directly back to the two of you. Y'all, um, got plans for the evening? What did you say your name was again? Jeremy. Jeremy. Pryor. Pryor. And the others, your companions? Lee, John, and Rouse. They kind of wave again. And what was the third name again? Rouse. Rouse. Okay. Rouse. 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 Like Ross, but Ross, Ross. Yeah. Well, I get the feeling that uh, Florence knows what she's doing. Yeah, that's why I wanted to bring her on this trip. I feel like she's really good at uh, swindling her way into situations. <laughs> she kind of made her way into ours. <laughs> Think about it. Uh, yeah, I figured that that was intentional, but I didn't mind it. Yeah. So you what's your read on that? <laughs> what's my read on that? Yeah. I haven't thought too much about it. Outside of the fact that we got some crazy woman that got cut in the face, didn't even feel it, outran you and Gordy, yep. and seems to be uh, talking <laughs> to herself. Yep. I kind of forgot about Florence. As you guys are having this conversation back and forth, you're just literally just a checklist of the fucked up things that are happening <laughs> to both of you. I mean, I think uh, it's either with the thing. I got triggers. I got Did I tell you about the time that I tried to kill myself, but I didn't actually Triggers kill a memory <laughs> in both of you. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, what happened causes to causes a bout of madness. No, oh, so, oh, no. Uh, okay. Who's up? Both of us? Both of you. Thanks, Blurgoth. <clears throat> All right. Well, 
Hashtag insanity. I got, for I got really, JJ. I got really high sanity. So. Uh, oh, I gotta do sanity thing. Sandy Shoot. check. Oh no no, this isn't the check. This is you have a flashback, yeah. and then we see how much you lost. Yeah, this is uh, bad. We just, you lose. just go with it. Yep. Yeah. Hey, remember that time? I told you about one. that time. Uh, when yeah. I was Why don't you tell me more about that? <laughs> <laughs> I just look off into the distance. I see my mother standing there. She's got a hand out. She's waving. Come on. I won't jump without you. Oh my god! I haven't seen my mother in so long. Ever since I was just a little school lad and I'm running right up to her. She went to reach out for my hand. It was like, startled me. She, she, she went to grab so fast. I, I pulled back. Forever this day, I'll, I'll regret pulling back because she just. just fell. The sound. I'll never forget the sound. That sound of a body hitting rock from so high up. You know, you you think of a body as something solid and uh, you know it's uh, sturdy, but when you hear it like that, just the, the the insides all smushing out on the ground like that. It just that sound sticks with you forever. I swear to God, every time I hear a chicken getting slaughtered now, I think about my mother. Roll one d4. That really fucked me up. <laughs> Four? Three. Three. Okay. Well, while he's thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> just, two guy, though, right? just two guys standing and, and thinking then, things. And then 30 years later, here I am, falling off of that same cliff. It's, it's cliff, 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 cliff. He's saying <laughs> that. I just <laughs> take a moment to think about the situation that I'm in. How it's all going to shit. Despite being in a group and trying to lead it, uh, it's a little bit out of my forte as I spent almost all my time exclusively in France walking around no man's land by myself, avoiding big confrontation as I would go out for long periods of time, painfully wait for my sniper rifle just someone would just poke their head over a trench just to see maybe what was going on. Then I would pull the trigger. The more and more time I spent out there away from people, the more and more I liked to be on my own. I realized as I would come back, that was my element. And when I would come back to the trenches and have to deal with so many people different states of shell shock or confusion or fear. I wouldn't know how to cope with it, so I would just go back out on my own. And now as I'm here with all these people and dealing with all their problems, I know that there is no place for me to go to. I have to be here. Roll 1d4. As you were thinking all that, too, and you start to come back to it, yeah. and that's how she ended up pregnant. Hey, are you... Ooh, ooh. You here with me? <laughs> it's the owl in the tree. Yeah. So back, um, you fucking yeah. hear that? I'm not. I'm not gonna shoot Did the you owl. Hear that? I'm not gonna shoot the owl. You know about you the owl? You don't hear it. You don't hear it. <laughs> That's Florence's owl. <laughs> back inside, Jeremy. <clears throat> so. Well, being new in town, Jeremy, I can't say I have any particular plans this evening, but I am. You hear the guy named Rouse sort of laugh like new in town. <laughs> But I am, as I was saying, in the market for information. So uh, perhaps if you would be so obliging, then I might be obliged to. I walk back with a cup of coffee. Allow you to enjoy my company for the evening, if that is what you are so implying. Well, that wasn't quite what I was implying, but damn. All right. Um, I was just. Uh, Gonna be real uh, neighborly, seeing as you're both uh, new in town, and invite y'all to a little party. Oh, oh party! Soiree. Oh, it's a little gathering. At this time of night. Not a whole lot to do out here, ma'am. Hmm. It's a general thing to do here. Nothing but booze and a good time. Am I, am a little right? bit of music, a little bit of. Um... Sure. Sounds yeah. swell. Country customs, delightful. Well, the coffee's not very good, man. <laughs> 
You know what could help? Add, <laughs> add a cinnamon stick when you're brewing it, and it'll get a hint of cinnamon. It's delicious. Is he coming? Unfortunately. If I'm invited. <laughs> I think it best that he I he keep him somewhere that I can keep an eye on him. As you can see, he's very distressed. Sounds fair. All right. Y'all, uh... Y'all finish your coffee. Y'all want to go? What's the wait? All right, they're coming out. Let's coming go. Out. Hey, duck down. As, duck down, um, duck down. <laughs> as you guys are sort of, as we're all then sort we'll of with gathering, I'm gonna duck down. I guess to leave, you do. There's like a sudden crash of pots and dishes from the kitchen. Oh, sounds like some. Everyone, everyone in the room sort of goes. Huh? You okay back there? They stop. And as you... Hey, buddy. You know there's the window sort of behind the bar to the... Yeah. You're looking in. Like in a diner. Yeah. 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 Like, hey, okay. buddy. So as you look in, you see uh, there's a... Uh, there's this woman, sort of early middle age, dirty blonde hair. Um, she's just picking stuff back up and sort of looks up at you and kind of gives you a dirty look and just kind of goes back to gathering things and picking things up. It's okay. You, I I can't tell you how many things I've broken. It's okay. She doesn't I respond. What do you think's think going on? She needed your reassurance. Uh, I think you want to check it out. Say, so uh, is everything all right back there? They seem okay. No, oh, I'm sure she's fine. Uh, so what That's we the uh, gentleman from the booth. Happens all the time, huh? A uh, different person, not Jeremy. Well, yes. Don't, 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 don't yes. The, yeah. Okay. This is the guy. This, this is the guy in the booth, booth that was just sort of reading, uh, uh, reading his book. Uh, we'll go the back. Cleaned up looking gentleman, at least a lot more so than uh, the than these bumpkins. Yeah. Um. And he just kind of uh, oh, but not. smiles up and uh, just says, uh, "Candle, y'all are y'all all right?" Uh, the woman sort of in the kitchen sort of just stands looks at him and they just kind of share a glance and she kind of just walks further back into the kitchen to continue doing whatever it is she's doing what are you reading oh he just hands it to you um, it's a uh, collection of essays about Taking medicine into the twentieth century. Oh, a doctor, oh. are you? Even uh, even small town folk need a uh, need an arm mended. Of course. No, but listen to me. But what I was your name again? Ma'am. Uh, Joshua. Joshua. Pleasure. You were Apollonia, Florence. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Back up, May. Yeah. That's correct. Gordy Fitz Gordy Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. That's right. I apologize. I did hear that name. Uh, Joshua Watt. Welcome to town. Uh, you can call me uh, Doctor Josh if you want. If that's if that's a little more formal. You don't have a last name. I mean, we're pretty casual acquaintances at this point. Well, you know my last name. Seems to me this whole town's pretty casual. Roll. <laughs> Your um uh, uh, b -b 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 roll what? your charm for me. Okay. All right, Bernard. Look, that is a success. They were about to come out the door. Forty-six. Stop. My charm they don't is look a like seventy-five. Like we got an okay. advantage right now. Yeah. Okay. We, we got an advantage. We standing right next to each other. Why are they? They, they, they literally turn around. They're gonna see who are those two guys. No, out no, there. we're hiding in the bushes. We're fine. But look, I don't. Look, I'm scared, Bernard. I don't want to be out here next to these trees by myself. What the fuck? Just wait a little bit, okay? Wait, say that again. Hey, JJ, roll against your sanity. These <laughs> trees are fucking them up. Not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. No, I'm fine. I know. It's just a good number. It's just a, oh, that's why he's giggling? Yeah. No. You no. got a, It's a 66. That's fine. What's your sanity? I'm at 82 now. What? Dang. Damn. What? It's a very together gentleman. <laughs> okay. Wow. Damn. There's a damn, bro. So. Never mind. 
Doctor. Yeah, trees are scary. Joshua, was it? Same. It seems to me that you're the sort of man that would have his finger on everything that's happening in his small town. What makes you say that? Well, you and just seem real fancy, like is all, and rather <laughs> well dressed. Excellent waistcoat. Thank you. Uh, picked this up um, a couple, just a couple months ago, actually. It's, yeah, thank you. Thank you for noticing. Well, uh, I suppose. Um, what would you like to know? Well, you see, a girlfriend of mine, her fella was out and about the ways of this town not too long ago. Were they? Yeah. Do you have any strangers come through here as of late? We did, as a matter of fact. Um, prior, what's it been? Uh, two weeks? Three weeks? And uh, Jeremy, see. the guy who's been inviting you guys out, uh, thinks for a minute. Says, um, yeah, something like that. Like two, two, three weeks. Something like that. I see. That's very interesting. And where exactly were these fellas last seen? Or, or uh, assuming it was fellas, maybe it was some ladies too. I, I don't know. No, it was a, it was a group of uh, group of gentlemen, as far as I remember. Um, they had dinner here. Uh, Y'all had some drinks with them, didn't you? And he kind of looks at the at the group and. Uh, uh, Jeremy looks back at the doctor and is like, "Drinking's illegal, doctor." He's like, "I apologize." Y'all, y'all, y'all spent the evening together, right? And he sort of backs up and they're like, "Yeah, we all, you know, it was all uh, perfectly legal, like." Uh, yeah, enjoyed we just, a nice uh, cup of tea and such. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they, they, they came out to the gathering just like we're inviting these folks out to. I see. Was there a, a fella with them uh, by the name of uh, Bobby Mingione? Real tall, handsome kind of fella. That's my girl's fella. They're in a they're in a bad way right now. Him and his his girl. Roll your charm. <laughs> this one's gonna be a little more challenging. Okay. So this is gonna be an intermediate, <laughs> which is half. <laughs> Jesus Christ! God damn. Doesn't matter. I did it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what was the question again? It was uh, if there was a, a tall, handsome fellow by the name of Bobby Mingione, real tall, dark hair, blue eyes. A tall, handsome Bob. A tall, handsome Bobby Mingione. Yeah, well, about thirty. I don't necessarily remember any last names, but I, I seem to recall there was a gentleman named Bobby amongst them. Yeah. Look, Bernard, you can see Florence working a magic from here. Look at how she's all. And uh, we didn't speak. Uh, hard. We're in the bush. We didn't speak yeah, too much. They were they were here when I was uh, having dinner. And did these fellas say where it was they were headed? Uh, as far as I can remember, they just said they had business in town, and that's about as specific as they got with me. Oh, did they mention anything to you boys? And uh, Jeremy and his guys will sort of like give each other sort of inquisitive glances. Um, they, no, they just, uh, if they had something to do, they sure postponed it to come uh, come have a time. Well, how do you like that? Typical men, really. <laughs> Typical men. Well, you've been ever so helpful, Dr. Josh. Now, perhaps we could go enjoy this evening's festivities that you fine folks have planned? I won't keep you. I'm not much of a... Uh of a party or myself since I uh, since I settled down with uh, the missus back there he sort of gestures back to the kitchen but uh, um, y'all enjoy yourselves well, so, thank thanks you. ever so uh, are we just gonna like hide <laughs> in the bush until okay, after thinking, they leave I'm, I'm just confused <laughs> here's, what, here's what I'm thinking hear me out we're gonna so follow they're not, like, not. Uh, hear me out they don't know we're here we have an advantage after y'all yeah so if they out. Looking, if walk outside of the diner. If they got to walk outside follow safely so Bobby Maggiani is going to the pamphlet or the book yeah he, uh, he takes it and smiles. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll duck down in the bushes outside. Hope you all find your friends. Okay, so you duck down. I'm like in, <laughs> I'm like in my element because I'm like hiding in like foliage. But War hero, he's uh, <laughs> I impossible just to see. Still okay, don't really so you guys have. <laughs> they're hiding. We wanna we wanna basically you know see where they're headed and follow them. 
I just wanted to smoke a cigarette and go around back, but now I'm in the... I'm so, scared of the trees! So as soon as uh, uh, this group sort of comes out, uh, this the gentleman that comes out first after your companions just looks directly um, I'll roll at, the, at the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> spot hit. I'll roll my and stealth. Just, uh, Oh, you're already, he already hit past the spot, hit and check. <laughs> Wait, he did? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so he's, he's, I don't get to roll my stealth? <laughs> y- you know what? Okay. Oh. You guys can roll your stealth. Yeah, I got really bad because I'm in a bush. <laughs> but, uh, I, like, uh, I got a 25 out of 80 on my stealth. Can I, are there any re-rolls? There are four. I'm, I'm, a using private, one. I'm a private investigator. I made myself real high. I'm a... I'm a, I'm a no man's land sniper, and that's oh, a 17. Dang. He sees a motherfucking bush. <laughs> <laughs> okay. looks, looks like that guy's looking at a bush. <laughs> so he sort of takes a moment. You see this guy sort of take a moment. He sort of looks past your gentle direction. And um, Listen. turns to the group and says, uh, shall we? Sure. Yeah. Is it far from here? No, 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 no. And he just sort of points. Uh, just So he sort of points back across the street. Uh, there is, there are a few more houses, and there's kind of a field, and then um, you see sort of uh, like a plantation style home. It's actually pretty big, uh, maybe two, three stories, you know, with the wraparound porches on the first two stories. You sort of see that sort of across the field. All right. Huh. That's the gathering. Oh, it looks like the bee's knees over there. So these uh these fellows that come out, can you give uh, Banana and I a good description of what these uh, <laughs> what these moves look like? I, I just want to know what we're what we're dealing with here. Yeah. So look, I'm not gonna make you roll this. You're the PI. Uh, you've got a pretty good uh, vantage point. So as nice you're looking, uh, this gentleman that's sort of gesturing uh, across the field, just a mop of like reddish brownish hair. He's oh. wearing glasses. Uh, one of his sideburns is like normal and then the other one is like down oh. to okay. his oh. jawline All right. which is weird what? but you definitely notice it almost okay. like he that's something yeah. he does so thing. that you'll notice it mm-hmm. oh, all right, all right. i have there. a knife i will be shaving him uh you see <laughs> see another sort of just bigger uh huskier gentleman with uh with just buzzed hair wearing overalls uh you see a second uh, a second huskier guy who looks All right. less like fat and more strong fat. Okay. Uh, it looks like they're probably brothers. Uh, okay. Some fawns, uh, maybe. And then you we see some, uh, there's a hands. there's a third gentleman with uh, sort of mousy blonde hair and it's thinning. Sure. Got it. Mm. And Jeremy was the name of the redhead with the weird mm. sideburns. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Those are some big hosses. Yeah. Yeah. Right now they don't appear to be any in danger, so I say we just uh, follow them from the way back. Mr. Pryor. I think we got a good advantage here. Miss, uh, 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 do I call you lady? I don't know. Uh, call me whatever you like, love. All right. Lady? Care to leave a lady unattended? Oh, uh, absolutely not, ma'am. I and sort of offers you an arm. Whose house is that? Oh, he gets to touch you. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I invited him. There's a difference. Uh, that's sort of a complicated not a complicated answer a l- long answer maybe uh the short answer is nobody and that's uh no that's one. a gathering house no one lives in that lovely house not for a long time not since the war who owned mm. it before that uh the fishers fishers uh fisherville clever and since then it's been died in a union skirmish oh oh that war well, gee, that's been a sh- long time then, hasn't it? Now the house just sort of belongs to the town. To whoever needs a s- room for a soiree. It's like your own speakeasy. Yeah, but drinking's illegal. Of course it is. Of course. Of course. Um, you guys sort of walking as a... Yep. Okay, so yeah. this is a walk talk. You're sort of walking past this couple of uh, smaller houses... Uh, so that are around you're walking into this field. So what happened Oof. to the Fisher family then? Oh, with bush to bush. If mm. they all did they all just yes. up and die and leave their house to no one? No kids, no nothing? Oh no, they uh as as far as I recall they had a couple of kids, but uh you know some uh 
some uppity folks, maybe from uh, New York or somewhere or another, came out here and uh, lined them all up and shot them. Whoa. Oh, for no reason at all. Well, they had their reasons, but uh, I don't want to damper the evening on uh, Union reasons to come down to our land and shoot our people. You know what I'm saying? I think I do. Understood. So who are we? Sorry, I, this got. <laughs> I apologize. This got a little, little heavier no, than no, I than no, I intended no, no. it to. Ma'am, I, I do I apologize. Do love stories. Sure, but I also understand that uh, talks of war and execution in front of two ladies, that's not proper. I apologize. Oh, He definitely doesn't seem like he's got the stomach for it, so. Oh, most oh. definitely not. Whoa, I can handle it. <laughs> I've been around, sir. <laughs> so you guys are, are you guys are following? We're following. I we're guess we're going to sneak our bushes to bushes, house so to house. So to do this, okay. we're going to have to go into the forest. <laughs> Hug the forest tree line around. Don't, uh, don't, uh, just stay right next to me, okay? Just yeah, that's keep me, fine. Keep I just want to make sure. You see, you're just freaking out about the forest. Okay. we got to go through it. All right, I've seen... Uh, so as they're sort of figuring out their thing, you guys are approaching this house. Uh, you start to hear... Uh, you start to hear voices. Um, you start to hear music. Uh, banjos, fiddles. Uh, there's legitimately... Uh, the hoedown a gathering going, going on. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> and, um, it's a real hoedown. <laughs> this so just as became now the scariest like <laughs> thing to me I've heard yet. Yeah. So. <laughs> Wait till they start singing Dixie. <laughs> uh, so he just, Jeremy sort of claps oh. and he's like, Woo! <laughs> and uh, <laughs> just kind of takes your arm and literally just starts to skip <laughs> All right. towards the house with you. Gentlemen, you are... Sneaking in our way through the forest. Right. So, uh, will you roll your stealth for me again? Because I'm, I'm assuming the forest will allow us to get to yeah. an overview. Big success. Assume that. On this one. Big success assume. On, assume. on my stealth. Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, we both got a good success with <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> so, you guys both got a success? Yep. Right, yeah. Okay. Will you roll uh, <laughs> against your sanity? You're in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do that. How many times did that? <laughs> yep. That's a oh, good that's success, good. Good. really good success. Uh -huh. I'm still going to lose a point, though, so uh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay so that. you guys are continuing yeah. to sort of sneak through. Um, <laughs> Apollonia, you... Uh, again, this is not the best night for you, uh, but now this sort of strange guy is just dragging you towards this house. Um... As the group sort of enters, you know, there's folks and they're all, they sort of, you guys get a few weird glances, but then they sort of see that you're with uh, these folks that they remember and you're sort of absorbed into this party. And as you enter, you know, there are people just passing around just jars of uh, very strong smelling clear liquid. Um, well, isn't this just berries? Say, I, I, I like talk to the person that's like handing us drinks. Sure. See, this is uh, this is some uh, real good juice you got here. Where uh, where exactly did you get it from? I mean, just to the guy that's handing it to you. Yeah. Okay, roll your charm. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a more challenging. So. <laughs> okay. Because it's just a waiter. Uh -oh. Uh, do we have any rerolls? We have Three. four. Four. And I Ooh. saw that GM note, it's coming. Cool, cool, cool. Don't let Matt no, roll. All right, anything. I'm going to roll one more time, okay. and then this is going to be my last one. I don't think my guy knows the mission, so we're good. Ah, uh, damn it. I, do not, it again. Not quite good uh, enough to be my difficult one. Okay, so uh, you say this to the guy that sort of hand you, gives you a sip of the jar. As you sort of take your sip and you ask that question, he sort of gives you a weird look, takes the jar walks away hey. back towards the hey, house. Oh, so much for Southern hospitality. Do I have one too? Florence, Got a is mason jar of... Yeah, as okay. the music actually sort of slows down, this Jeremy guy is actually just straight up just like sort of leading you into a slow dance All as you right. sort of have this jar. I thought you said there was no drinking here. Your friend seemed like a kind of a cop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, which one? A cop. I want to know. I want to know if he thinks you were a cop or if you were a cop. <laughs> I hope he thinks I'm a cop. The weirdo that hated the coffee. 
Oh, no, he's just very old. Do you want to see something special? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you tempted me, sir. Nothing, uh... Nothing unsavory about it. Uh, you were rather duplicitous about this. Well, you just gotta make a call as to whether or not you're gonna trust me. Where? She's really hitting it off with this guy. Is this our mission? Is he this just sort of uh, gives a nod Whatever. It towards seems, the woods. It seems like he doesn't know anything, so if she keeps him distracted, maybe you and I can find the out where the sort of like, shine from. You know, sort of, uh, sort of semicircle around this house. There's a, there's a bit of a backyard. It's not huge. Um, but he just sort of nods back towards the woods. Uh, or you do see there's more... Are there, are the there's some lights there? moving okay. around back there. Uh, and, uh, if, if there are, did we, are we anywhere in the vicinity where these lights might be moving You're sort around? of moving up towards the house. So Do we see these extra lights out in the woods? Maybe not necessarily. Like, uh, once you sort of like get up to the house, you know, probably. Um, yeah, I'm, just, I'm trying to just stay in the woods. I don't know the topography, okay. uh, I guess, of this. So if like if there's a hill or anywhere nearby these hood or the the building, mm -hmm. right in the woods, that's where I'm gonna go. Okay, everything's pretty flat Fudge. here, but there are like okay. some trees and stuff like that there's that you feel. Can kinda, all right, yeah, all right. Gonna, just, just, are you gonna be all right down here? I mean, we, if I, I was if gonna we, go up. All right, I'll uh, I'll keep an eye on the mystery woman over there. See her off uh -huh. in the distance. There. Somebody's talking her up. I'll keep an eye on that. Uh, you should, we should definitely keep an eye on that. And uh, yeah, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Uh, I can keep I'll it together. All right, Florence. You still got that rifle? Yeah, I'm going yeah. out. That's what I'm, that's so okay. we're looking for Bobby Mangiani. Is that our, is that our mission? Oh, well, it's just somebody that that Jimmy mentioned that it was a uh, there was a Bobby amongst the group that went missing. Can you fill me in on what? <laughs> what we're doing? <laughs> the brothers, the two brothers. I have no idea. Two big sort of hosses standing with yeah. Those two big old hosses are sort of standing next to you, and oh, the uh, the fitter one kind of says, "Uh, I knew. I I talked to Bobby. I saw Bobby." Did you know? Tell us more. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a real way with words. In my head, I'm like, you know what? This is slowly shaking up to uh, this. I feel like we're going to... In my head, I'm like, God, I hope Gordy ain't talking. <laughs> I hope Gordy just keeps his fucking mouth shut. Again, I'm also climbing up a tree, if that's <laughs> relevant to you. I know where he that's is. You know where Bobby is? Yeah, I know where Bobby is. They're good folks. Would you... Would you... Take me to him. Like I said, he's a, a, a the fellow of a friend of mine. He sort of. Are you? What are you doing right now? Uh, I'm still musing over Jeremy's okay. proposal to go into the woods. Okay. He's sort of uh, starting to walk and sort of offers a hand. Do you want to be daring? Nothing daring about it. I just want to show you something special. But I do see other lights and other people. <laughs> yeah, it looks like there's a. It looks like now that you're sort of looking at it more and with uh, the sort of bonus to your vision a little bit, it looks like there's a fire. Like it looks, it looks pretty up and up. Maybe there's like a campfire going on. Lead the way. All right. So he sort of takes your hand, starts to walk, and sort of as that's happening, Lee sort of watches them leave, and he's like, "Yeah, come on." I, uh, I, I see, I, I see that uh, from my vantage point, and I kind of give a little quick whistle, like, and I get eyes with you, and I'm like, and okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneak on the outskirts and the weeds. We're totally gonna win the game, and uh, <laughs> and I'm gonna keep We're on following. Right I'm gonna keep on following. <laughs> Using the skills we paid for. <laughs> We're up by all the points. <laughs> I'm gonna keep on following. Okay. And uh, yes. keeping my sneak going, making sure I'm out of eye of sight, and uh, wherever they go, I'm going to be not too far away. Okay. Can, can I use... I'm following Lee. I follow as well. Okay. Spot hidden to kind of just, like, keep an eye on things. See if there's anything... Yeah, sort over. of just overviewing. Yeah. I mean, as far... Yeah, go and roll. Florence is just babysitting me <laughs> until I'm caught up. <laughs> I got half of my score. 
So dang, su- semi-success, good, good success. That's okay, a good success. Yeah, it's a success. That's a good I'm success. Just like, I'm just like <laughs> trying to you see stuff. I'm yeah. seeing. I'm looking you from you see. to him to you. So for the most part, you just sort of see this party yeah. going on. There's uh the music sort of calm, slowed down. Yeah. Uh, people have stopped sort of dancing, and yeah. um, they're just people are sort of sitting, taking a breather, listening to this slower tune that's being played. Kind of reminds um, me of home. And you see, and I hate it. Apollonia walk with the sideburns. Sure, she's Sideburn, walking back. Singular. And as you sort of follow, sort of their general direction, you see what looks to be a campfire further back. Mm-hmm. Into the woods. You see me um, sneaking on the outskirts. <laughs> you see, <laughs> you see Florence and Gordy. You went through, right? Yeah. Yeah. You see them really following those brothers, mm-hmm. uh, and then <laughs> sort a of a few plan. beats, a few beats after them, you see uh, <laughs> the blonde, the the balding blonde gentleman uh, follow. Sure. Okay, I'm just on Overwatch. Okay. Um. Your group. If there's a fucking owl that shows up, <laughs> I will knife it. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you guys, Apollonia, will you sort of go in first? Um, and the moment you sort of step into the woods, whether it's instinct or just because you have been on edge because you are not well right now. I was in a car accident. Um, I want you to... What's your sanity? Uh, 65. It's a 65? Okay. I want you to roll and I want you to beat a 30. Alright. To roll... So roll against a sanity of 30. Got it. Okay. Uh, uh, I need my... F- 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 okay. Less than half. Mm. No, that's not a at all. 99. Nope, to not get at all. Touched. Oh. Okay. Uh, I had the insanity. Sorry. So <laughs> it. <laughs> Matt touched them. <laughs> Where you usually feel uh, at least some level of control, you haven't felt that since really the car. And it starts to. Having some conversation with some folks sort of helped sort of distract you and take it at bay. But this just feeling just washes over you again. <sighs> um that you are once again walking into something wrong, walking into somewhere that you don't want to be, but at the same time, don't really feel like you have the strength to turn around right. and walk away. Oh no. Shit. My knees buckle just a little bit. Okay, you yeah. sort of stumble a little bit uh, and Jeremy sort of helps. Lady Yara? No, just uh, it's a rather strong drink. I can smell it from here. Can't hold your liquor, can you? Oh no, no, it's not at all, it's just not used to this variety. <laughs> well, I promise there's uh, more where that came from. As you sort of walk into the woods, the two of you I follow in <laughs> with the brothers. Um, oh, I don't think you you do step us. into this uh, s- sort of a small cleared out area. There's a, there's a campfire going and uh, there are just there are some folks sitting near it. There are some folks um, standing around it. Uh, a few of them kind of give, you know, nods to, to Jeremy and the brothers. Uh, Jeremy sort of waves. And, uh, y'all, this is um, May, right? Uh, the lady. <laughs> Apollonia, I think. Apollonia, right? Yeah, I apologize. Very good. And um, Gordon. Y'all say hello. And there you kind of get some waves. People are... Um, there's a, There's another jar sort of being passed around. And um, uh, since I'm on the outskirts of this here thing, can mm-hmm. I uh, use my spot hidden to see if there's anything? See what's going on? Sure. Pleased to make your out of the acquaintance. Ordinary. Pleasure. Mm. Yeah, that's a success. Yeah, you. Okay. Um. So as you're sort of like watching this, you're sort of watching the gathering. You found yourself a pretty clear line of sight mm-hmm. to this campfire when what catches your eye is actually a l- closer to you than the campfire. You just, right out of the corner of your eye, you just see something dart from tree to tree. It's not me. 
I start backing up. And I pause a little bit. And I'm like, no, I can do this. All right, all right. Gordy's watching me. Gordy's on Overwatch. <laughs> so, You're fucked if Gordy's on Overwatch. Like Bernard. Bernard's watching me. Jeremy. Bernard's watching me. Frisbee. Bernard's watching me. Bernard's watching me. Bernard's on Overwatch. Bernard's on Overwatch. Jeremy not, not, sort of uh, puts an arm around your waist and, uh, and points and uh, says, here's what I want to show you. And he leads uh. you, and he walks you sort of past the fire. All right. There's a tree. And um, as you're sort of looking at the tree, um, you know there's just carvings all over it. Um, and uh, he's like, now I know this might not seem impressive. You know, you're uh, uh, from, uh, from England and all. And uh, yeah, country costumes are rather enchanting. That's a word for it. Um, I don't know what else you'd call it. It's the naming tree, I guess. Um, nope. Every has. Everybody here carves their name in it. He sort of points up uh, at a sort of a taller point of the tree. There's my daddy. And um, <laughs> down here a little lower, see under that branch? Yes. Where it says Abigail, that's my mother. Everybody's on here. And he takes that knife out again and sort of points it to you handle first I would never oh you're invited oh no where are you he sort of smiles and um, actually takes hold of your chin just pushes your chin down just a little bit and just points (laughs) Jeremy makes three three priors and what about me? Find yourself a spot. No, what about me? Extends an invitation. Join. I'm new here. They only met me just this evening. This seems rather sacred. Nothing sacred about it, just being hospital. Are those the only three names on there? On the tree? Yeah. Oh, the tree is like... It's like there's, covered there's, there's, there's clear spots, but it's just... It's covered in... Yeah, sort of what you're noticing is is names. And what happens after this? We keep drinking. (coughs) That's usually what happens. We drink, most of us pass out, people go home. Head to Murray's in the morning, we do it all over again. Country customs? Country customs, ma'am. I take the knife. Okay. Sort of as you... uh, You sort of take the knife and uh, sort of at another glance, it's actually like a pretty expensive looking knife. Uh, It's it's very ornate. There's uh, there's actually, you know, decorations like sort of carved into the handle and it's it's a nice looking uh, nice looking knife. Lovely instrument you have here. Thank you. Made in town. Yeah, yeah, it's local. By who? Oh, I mean, my uh, my dad gave me mine. Then I and I etch. Okay. Not my name. Picture of a bird. Okay. Trevor Bird. <laughs> no, Trevor Bird. Yep. No. I etch a nightingale. Oh, got it. Okay. You sort of, uh, <laughs> you etch in. Sorry. You didn't specify. He, he sort of, like, smiles as if that's sort of, that's sort of humorous. And, um, as you are, go and roll your spot hidden. Okay. I need. It wasn't a tree, it was a person. <laughs> ah! 40 on the dot. Uh, 40 on the dot. So it matches my spot hidden perfectly. Okay. Uh, as you finish. The E in Nightingale. Oh, no, I'm Oh, you're dr- literally drawing, drawing Nightingale. Okay, sort of as you're sort of finishing the carving, you're sort of finishing up this wingtip, uh, and you notice that it is sort of running up against another carving in the tree. And as you sort of take a look at that carving, you see that it's a carving of a triangle. 
and there are sort of dashed lines on the inside of it connecting the angles. There are even other artists here. What hmm? does that mean? Oh, all this? I don't really know a whole lot about it. Just shapes and... All right. But I don't give him the knife back. Okay. Yeah. I still have the jar of moon in my hand. Okay, what are you two doing? Say, L Lee, was it? Well, what'd you say... Yes, ma'am. What'd you say your last name was? My last name? Yeah. Uber, ma'am. Oh. Uber. How long you lived in this town? Oh, I was, I was, I was born here. Uh, nineteen years. Nineteen ah, years. Nineteen. Huh? Wow. And uh, one year older than this asshole. <laughs> right. He points at his brother. And, and rolls his eyes. Well, where exactly did you say that Bobby and all those other nice folk were? Oh well, uh, the last time I saw them, they were they were right back here, man. Oh. Oh. And when was that? That was, God, like two, three weeks ago. John, was that two, three weeks ago? And John's like, yeah, man, that was, that was like two, three weeks ago. And as he's conferring, Lee sort of pulls out a very similar looking knife to Jeremy's. Just sort of, just sort of playing with it in his hands, just kind of fidgeting. You country boys sure like your knives, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess we do. Not much of a knife guy myself. No? Mm -hmm. You want one? Nah, I'm good. Are you sure? Nah, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> he sort of points the handle <laughs> to Nah, <toward> nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. We got extras. Creepy. Nah, <laughs> see. And as he says that, he sort of gestures, and the two of you notice that Everyone in this clearing has sort of stopped what they're doing, and they're all just watching you. Most of them are holding knives mm -hmm. very similar to the ones Jeremy and Lee were holding. <coughs> so, uh, when you said that you knew where where Bobby and, and all them was, all you meant in was, like, Did really you? in the past tense. Yeah, it was in the past tense. I saw him here. Has anyone... He came to the gathering. And then... I suppose... He you showed... Them all... Them fancy knives, too, huh? And as you sort of say that... A cloud sort of... Passes over the moon. It just gets... Oh, fuck. A yeah, little <laughs> darker <laughs> as this cloud covers the sky, blacker than black, and it just starts to blanket every inch in total darkness. <laughs> Even the fire does Sheesh. not seem to be helping. It sure does get dark I'm just out here. Go it's heavy. <laughs> it's I'm just going to go ahead thick. and check my sanity uh, <laughs> as I'm in the woods. Uh, and it almost starts to, uh, you start to... Okay feel almost an out of body as it almost starts to feel like the the wind is shifting around you the humidity uh is starting to to pass through as the wind is starting to pick up uh and the three of you start to feel oh my god what the hell the three of you start to feel almost dizzy to the point that you feel like you almost have to sit down as oh no you're not sure if wh what what's the sky you're not sure what's the ground you're not sure what's vertical you're not quite sure what's horizontal oh. is it just them or me too it's just the three of them oh thank god i'm in a tree me i don't want to fall out yes okay hey for the long time i don't feel so good Jeremy's oh. sort of like Fons, Fons, take me. my hand. Lady, take you alright? Lady, look at me. Me Don't. either, Gordy. I think it must be all this fresh air. Lady, you alright? Have a good time, love. Shoulders and as, back. Okay. And as you sort of take a step back from the tree, you sort of see a bit of a larger picture as you see amongst the names and sort of spreading out from that triangle. Different geometric shapes have been carved into the triangle. Um, 
weird, you could almost call them runes, numbers, letters that you don't quite recognize are spread out across the names of the people in this town. Um, as Jeremy's just sort of smiling at you. So I see, I see them all hit the ground, right? And start sitting down mm -hmm. from my vantage point. Uh, can can uh, Bernard see this happening too from the tree? Absolutely. Oh, fuck shit, I'm real. <laughs> what are the two of you doing? I stand up, I shoot in the air. Everybody freeze, it's the oh. police! Oh, fuck. Oh, shit! <laughs> Uh, I, I not knew that that's what he was going to do, so <laughs> <laughs> I okay. immediately scope in on everyone who's next to uh, uh, Gordy <laughs> and, uh, Interesting. And, okay. uh, and, company. Okay. and Florence. Okay. We got to okay. raid, everybody! Freeze! It's the police! <laughs> Put the liquor down! <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be okay. Florence is going to be okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, so this whole group immediately is just up on their feet. Looking at everyone, sort of looking to this Jeremy guy. Uh, you see <laughs> the house music has stopped and people are running and scattering from the house. I don't and think. And Jeremy's just like, no, 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 I no. I fire no. again. <laughs> what the hell is this? What the hell is this? I don't. I don't know. I, I didn't even know that you had police in this town. He takes Apollonia. He sort of takes you by the <gasps> shoulders and just pushes you oh, against the tree. Like, what is this? I take my moonshine and I throw it in his, I throw it in his, in his, uh, his eyeballs. Okay, you like yep. take the second uh, out of sort of instinct. This is not a very Apollonia yeah. move uh -huh. to yeah. make. You're usually just someone who's yeah. like, fine, hit me against a tree. Yeah. Uh, you sort of splash this Great. moonshine and it hits his eyes and, and he that's just starts he freaking out. And, uh, that's and when I pull the trigger. Okay. Sniper, we got a sniper up in the tree. If she, if he, she threw it in his face and he like went backwards. Yeah, roll. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit! I, I don't know what's happening, but we're gonna do it. You have three rerolls. Uh, I don't need it because I got a success. Because this is what I spent all my time <laughs> doing. Okay. He, uh, uh, you know. Yeah. Sorry. I just. <coughs> uh, I'll tell you what, Joe. I'll tell you what, Joe. I shoot him in the leg. That's where I'm aiming, at least. You don't have to make my life easier. Oh. Where do you want to shoot this guy? <laughs> good, Because I could question this uh, guy, too. I could glamour the hell out of him. Well, You're crazy. I don't trust I'm, I'm gonna go for <laughs> I'm going to go for center mass, then. Okay. Okay, so uh, this guy reacts, the, the moonshine, and then suddenly he just stops and just looks at you, and his eyes get wide, <laughs> and this red just starts to spread oh. out across... This sort of <laughs> dirty shirt that he was wearing. He could at least buy me dinner first. Uh, he's just <laughs> breathing haggardly, and he sort of drops to one knee, and he's looking up at you. <laughs> it's already started, though. <laughs> I want to go up to him. It's, it's already started, though. He, he's here. <laughs> Who's here? <laughs> <laughs> and he starts to cough his blood. Just He coughs up blood and just sort of splashes against <laughs> uh, your clothes, just sort of spattering Ugh. as he sort of falls forward against you. Come, no. I'm, I'm trying to do a redneck impression. Uh, Come on, everybody. We got to go. The fuzz are here. All right, everybody. Freeze. We Please. <laughs> you're, trying to, please. you're trying to throw your voice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to throw my voice. <laughs> yeah, we're in the middle of the woods yeah. here. They don't know where I'm at. I'm hiding in the woods, you yeah. see, and they think that the cops oh, are coming. Man. I figure I'd throw my voice and, and get them to scatter, and I can go out and I can grab Florence and and, uh, and Gordy and, li and leave the crazy woman, and we figure out what the hell's going on. <laughs> okay. Lady, wait, well, we got to get out of here. I don't know what the hell just oh, happened. We got to get the hell out I of here. I roll the body off of me. That's what I do. Okay. Uh, so everyone has, like, just scattered mm -hmm. at this point. See you what? Um, I'm up in woods, a tree. Back towards the house. <laughs> this, includes, uh, this includes the guys that you met at the diner. Like, everyone is just running, save for the guy who is now dead. At I'm your telling feet. you, the Bobby Mangiani, they're all dead. They are dead and six feet under. Don't say that. They're dead. You don't know if that's true. Look at what this cult shit is. Look well, at this. Well, maybe they just, like, transported into another dimension or something. That's worse. Is that better or worse? I don't. That sounds terrible. I don't know. Guys, we. I, I did. We What's going on around us right now? Or is 
the tree opening up? Is what are you the doing? ground you opening around? up? Yes, I am. Is is there like a lamp anywhere? <laughs> a lamp? <laughs> he said it was pitch black. Oh, you're in the no, fog. No, I mean like a like a light, like a candle. Or so something? here's the weird thing. You are there's this campfire, but it is not uh, interesting casting any light. But still, f and you are sort of actually looking around. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll your spot hit, Apollonia. Something ain't right. I can't even see anything in the light of that fire. Oh, that's a twenty, dude. Uh, that's awesome. Perfect. Yep, twenty. Spot hit is forty. Dang. Okay. <sighs> so as you are looking around, you hear it before you oh see it. Oh just the sound of branches cracking, underbrush being pushed aside. Um, the sound of something dragging across the ground. It's moving quickly. It sounds big. <laughs> you hear it in front of you at first, and then you hear it again off to the side and as you're staring into the darkness of the forest you just see this blackness moving across the forest floor <laughs> just one mass almost as if an arm is just reaching from the horizon through the ground snaking its way towards the grove uh, and I need you to roll against your sanity. All right. Jim, I got a question for you. I need you to beat 30. Uh, I'm going to run in and try to grab Florence. Okay? <laughs> when I run in to grab her, because okay. I see what she is, I've been watching the whole thing. Uh -huh. When I run into this area, do I also lose all sign of sight and light, and all of a sudden I'm in this fog? So where you guys are, it, di it did get dark. Like, there are legitimately, like, clouds have covered the moon. Okay. It is a lot darker um so really what kind of what happens as you run in is you'll probably just notice the weirdness of a active fire that just isn't casting light okay that's uh, what i do that i run towards florence okay uh no i do not pass at but all she has re-rolls right oh yeah do you have a re-roll right don't we have like two one <laughs> yeah we have three actually Oh. Use them. I'll take one. Burn go, them. Go, Burn them go, all. go. Burn them all, dude. <laughs> I don't know. You gotta that. get a 30. Uh, I don't yeah. know. I don't want to. You gotta beat a 30. 30. Yep. Oh, that's a 16. <gasps> Dang. Woo! Thank you, chat. That was chat. Thank you, chat. That was clutch. Okay. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <sighs> so, what do you. So, you see whatever this is, it's moving towards you. Mm hmm. Uh, and you're sort of able to swallow back this this rising <laughs> panic. Okay, here we go again. All right, Boarding. back up. I start getting the fuck away from there. Okay, you're yeah. bolting. Yeah, and Wait. then I grab your hand as I'm bolting. Okay, <gasps> yeah. so a yeah, couple of things a couple of things happen all at once. JJ, but I keep the knife. JJ runs in, reaching for Florence, <laughs> like Florence, come on! Come on. And as you're reaching <gasps> for her, Apollonia and Gordy both grab either of her hands and just. They start running <laughs> past you. What the fuck? Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? We got Bernard's back here. He's covering for us. You need to go this way. Roll your speed. Me? Yep. Whoa, you're that? lost in the darkness, bro. Oh, that ain't going to work too well for me. Yeah, <laughs> you're crippled, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, where's speed on here? It's I not think it's up. It's dex, right? I'm sorry. I, I, yeah, sorry. Apologies. Uh, I apology. I apologize. Apologies. Roll your dex. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh, that's a that's a that's a really uh, really really bad really bad roll there. Are there any re rolls There's left? Two left. There's two left. I'm gonna save it for somebody that uh, has less sanity than me. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. Okay. Uh, so as you sort of watch, they run past and you. Sort of have that moment where you pause and you're sort of assessing what's going on. Uh, and suddenly this shape <laughs> whips along the forest floor. <laughs> into the clearing. I just start shooting at it. You're armed? Okay. If you had a um, 1911, this might be your last <laughs> bullet. It probably Unless is. Unless you reload. Yeah. Uh, so I only had, actually, so I've only got one bullet left. Because okay. it holds seven. Then I yep. want you to roll firearms handgun, and this is going to be, uh, this is going to be a challenging, this is going to be a really challenging roll. Uh, I mean, uh, do you want to know what my fire, I built an interesting character. <laughs> I'm a PI, but I don't have weapons training, so 
Uh, do you do you want to know what my thing nope, is? Nope. Just you roll it super just hard. Roll, okay, roll, all right. Roll, roll. You're shooting the darkness. <laughs> You're shooting what could be. So super hot is at my lowest value or my middle value? Your lowest. 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 Get a one. <laughs> you have to get a one to succeed, don't you? Zach, uh, use well, your power. Uh, my, my four. Yeah, you got Four this. is my value on that. Now, see, now you, you, you have the reroll for this. This is great. I'm shooting darkness. Oh. <laughs> Guys, we did win the Damn. game. We won the game. Damn. Thank, Damn. You, everybody. Thank you, everybody. We are Owskis. <laughs> oh, credit we roll. We beat Call of Cthulhu. Two episodes. First episode, we just spent it in a bar. Peace. <laughs> so, uh, so GM, GM, with my last, with my last bullet, my 45 semi-automatic 1911 shit. pistol, I shoot at darkness. This one from now on. With a super challenging roll and rolled a critical success. Oh, what God. happened? <laughs> That's insane! <laughs> oh so, shit. this thing <laughs> whips out <laughs> and just snaps out, reaching for you. And it's just this almost on pure instant. And you're just running on adrenaline at this yeah. point. You just grab your gun, you fire, and it just connects with what is clearly not just darkness. Uh, it connects with flesh. You see, you oh. see a spray come back out of the back of it. And from somewhere further into the forest, you hear a scream. Not the what? most human of screams that you've ever heard. The tentacles oh. whip back into the forest. What the hell was that? And that is when the second set oh. that Apollonia also saw come at you. Oh no! From the oh, side. now you're fucked. No. Oh, yeah, sorry, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna throw my pistol at it. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> That's not gonna do anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and roll your more bullets. Roll I your feel like I'm being punished. <laughs> roll your throw, buddy. I feel like I'm being punished. What I think he did say there was two. Huh? What do you yeah. roll? Uh, is, that a, there two. is that at a you challenge? Roll a a do what? Is that at a challenge or a normal throw? <laughs> normal throw. <laughs> Just throw it. Mm, yeah. I'm gonna take a reroll. Okay. Oh dang. So you're just throwing your gun at this thing? Yep. Hey, that's a two. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Great, but you, are you just so threw a gun. <laughs> it's gonna. It's you could gonna throw a gun happen. at me, and I still come at you. It's not gonna matter. You are the most cursed person. <laughs> I've ever had. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You are the worst. Yeah. This is the best game for it you. Is. <laughs> You notice how I've been rolling all night? This yep. is I, I, this is the first time I've ever seen Joe look like <laughs> everyone else who's GM before. <laughs> <laughs> just like I just look up the PNP and I just see Bert's face. I put, right all, now. My, I put all my weight on my <laughs> left foot and I throw that as hard as I possibly can. Okay, you sort of whip this thing, saying the tentacles sort of like uh, are rising up to sort of like grab you, and your gun just like smacks against the flesh and it almost <laughs> rears back, just like a, almost like a snake, sort of pulling back. Uh, as if it's almost like snarling at you in challenge, uh, and you have you have a moment right now. What are you doing? I'm running back towards Benai. Yeah. Okay, you are hauling ass. I'm hauling towards Benai with my bum leg and everything, as fast as I've ever run. Okay. Just running towards Benai. Okay. Benai's up in the tree. Okay. He's got a okay. rifle. He's my he's my best bet I, of survival. I, I don't know what I see. What's your speed? What's your uh? uh it should be M bottom move right. Rate? Move rate. Move rate is a seven. Okay. As you are running, uh. You feel this tightness wrap oh. across your bum leg, and you feel yeah, almost this this yeah. pain shooting up. This is a this is a, a a leg that's dealt with a lot of sort yeah. of uh, a, a long-standing injury. Now you're sort of feeling this pain shoot up your leg. Roll your dexterity, and it's a challenging roll. <laughs> I know what you're going through right now. I've been through it before, and I understand no hard feelings. <laughs> That's a uh, that's a failure. Okay. And uh, the bum leg, the bum leg. Yeah. I don't think we have any rerolls left. Here, but I'm gonna take, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> no way! <laughs> no way! That succeeds. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> there is. No way! This is insane. You are legit <laughs> cursed. I feel like those magic matches I won. I don't feel like I won. There's a moment 
Uh, you feel yourself stumbling forward yeah. as this thing is just pulling you back. And whatever it is, uh, whether it's just really great cane placement <laughs> or <laughs> the fact that you don't have a... L- Too much feeling in that leg anymore. Yeah, you're sort of able to jerk it in a way that was not expected. You're able to pull... And knee didn't work anyway. You're able to pull away. You hear this thing scream again in the distance. You hear this ungodly, unearthly scream. I'm just going to go ahead and roll my sanity check. As you you. keep running. um, It succeeds. My sanity's fine. I'm going down. I'm going down. And as this. I'm running. And as this roar rocks across the forest, I need all of you to roll against your sanity. Oh, fuck. I succeeded that, but I took one down. Okay. Ooh, that's a 37. Abalone, I still need you to beat a 30. Cool. 15. I'm yeah. good. Yeah, that's not going to roll. Oh, that's a fucking 19. 19. <laughs> Holy shit. And I got a 6. Ah. Yeah, we all <laughs> succeeded. The game. Uh, we I don't win. know if you know this, but you can recall us, the Cthulhu Kill Squad, because <laughs> we fuck up those elder beasts like nobody's business. And as this <laughs> scream <laughs> echoes across I, the woods. I fought in a war, all right? Yeah, and I definitely believe and these in supernatural tentacles things. tentacles that so. you guys have all seen withdraw back into the darkness of the forest. That's where we'll end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Tonight's episode of He Left It Dead. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> the episode was called Into the Woods. <laughs> yeah. Okay, first I feel like I, <laughs> I owe an apology to the chat because that was a goal. That was a goal that we hit. Oh, that was the goal? Yeah, yeah an yeah. elder the elder <laughs> showed it. Yeah. I was I feel like so excited but so bad because that was a goal the chat hit. <laughs> And I fucked it up. <laughs> nah, I fucked it nah, up. Dog. Nah, hey, man. Hey, nah. next it's time. Game. Next time. Risk you take when you play. So, so I'll say this. Throw two elder gods at us and maybe we'll be worse. <laughs> so I'll say this as far as hitting the goal. <laughs> it's not gone. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Yeah. yeah. That's clear. That it's yeah, so yeah, yeah. It just so didn't pull um, JJ into the forest. By the way, can moment. we can we get every mods? Can we get everyone active in the chat? Thank you so, so much. Yeah. For yeah. Yes. We're gonna That's do, amazing. We're going to do a thumper box giveaway right now. Yeah. So get active in the chat and, and we'll give one of those away. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> That this was a great. Amazing. This was a great episode. Yeah, uh, yeah it was. <laughs> uh, let me let me read through these donations. Yeah, uh, we, we've got a little bit of time. Let yeah, me, yeah, let, let me run through uh, your all's contributions. A, thank you so much. B, uh, I'm so glad we did this hashtag evil encounter. I yeah. s- so glad we kept the 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 GM option because you guys just took whatever it was I was gonna plan tonight and completely. I'm very curious to know what yeah. was turned yeah, it on its head. Too, so too. let's run through some of this. Erdane. Um, uh, 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 began a donation uh, towards um, oh, hey, where'd we go? Uh, towards uh, an evil. Uh, so they they sort of finished this up. There was this cumulative that uh, that dashing CN started. Uh, can only start this, but here it goes. Hashtag evil. A group of robed figures is seen with ceremonial daggers and tomes in hand. They ah. appear to be uh, uh, chanting, maybe summoning. Uh, I'm not gonna say what they're summoning yet. That's uh, between I me you and Chat. Made that. That's insane. Dude, no, Chat was on fire tonight. Chat was yeah. on absolute Doing fire tonight. It. This was wow, crushing it. So you guys turned this party into an elder god summoning. Well done. Holy uh, shit. I know it wasn't straight up robes and everything, but you know, no, it, no, it would have no, been no, weird if they were yeah, suddenly I, like, hang on. I don't <laughs> think I've ever seen a chat in the world. I thought that was you, Joe. I no, got to put our creepy that robes was, on. Holy uh, shit. That's really uh, good. Superlot, thank you so much. Uh, hashtag sanity for, uh, Apol- uh, for Apollonia. Uh, Bradley Burnett, hashtag reroll. Let's see if anyone thank else you. gets to use these. <laughs> <before> Matt <laughs> Pretty no. okay tonight. And this. Zach yeah. needed it. Yeah. That last uh, was Doomsday clutch. Danny, a cloud covers the sky, blacker than black, uh, blanketing every inch into total darkness. Awesome. Uh, Holy shit. So, really? Yeah. So we, we were joking about the synergy thing before the game started, but that on top of that, uh, the cultists yeah. Yeah. Was, uh, was a hashtag yeah. evil, was a sinister summoning. Yeah. That's so oh, good. Joe, so that that's crazy. Oh, so synergizing those together, that was amazing. Thank you, guys. Um, a fan bot pillow lord. I don't know what that means. Sage Topian, <laughs> hashtag reroll. Success is fleeting in this dark place. Apparently not. <laughs> not if you're sad. Uh, the Shadow Piper said, hashtag insanity for Bernard. Have fun. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, dude. Uh, Gort, uh, Davro31, also on fire tonight. 
Gordy's hashtag evil frisbee is back and looking for revenge. That's awesome. Yes! <laughs> frisbee trail down the road. Uh, Bradley Burnett. Uh, hashtag phobia. Florence looks kind of scared holding that gun. Maybe it's because she has a fear of firearms. Does that have something to do with why she left New York City? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, my God. Uh, Austin C. Beeman. Hashtag evil. An owl lands on one or two of our lady's shoulders and does not want to leave, and it is not going to. That's uh, Yo, I killed that thing. It's gone yeah. forever. No, I came back, not. though. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> Don't sack that. Uh, Shadow <laughs> Uzumaki, uh, amidst the darkness, a loud and ominous hooting can be heard. They see the silhouette of a large owl. Oh, uh, so damn. That's like finishing. You guys are on owl fire damn. Uh, today. I have yeah. to tell you, I'm, uh, like, I'm now, I know it's evil, but I sort of thought maybe it wasn't, and it was like <laughs> my animal Patronus familiar friend. Or, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, empty knocked, uh, a squirming mass of maggots and bugs are somewhere ugh, deep in the woods. Ugh, <laughs> uh, ugh. Are they in, in an open pit or hiding up a tree? Hashtag evil. They were hiding in a tree, and then you shot it in the face. Yeah. Uh, was not expecting to have that happen tonight. Uh, Jabberwocky <laughs> D finishing off the phobia. Uh, uh, for the Welsh, for Apollonia, seeing Gordy starting to lose his sanity reminds Apollonia of a previous adventure in the phobia of children that awoke during it. Uh, a, okay. gift, oh, okay. a gift from the Welsh. Gift from the Welsh. I actually <laughs> have a said. great affinity for the Welsh. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Bradley Burnett, uh, hashtag re-roll. I'm beginning to think that there should be a separate donation for Matt's <laughs> re-rolls and everyone else's re-rolls. Um, <laughs> Uh, Eridings, uh, I always enjoy watching the show. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, makes Wednesdays one of the nights I look forward to. Me as well. Uh, I get the feeling you'll really be needing these tonight. Hashtag reroll. Try not to let Matt burn through all of them on an invention. <laughs> uh, Austin C. <laughs> Beeman. Hashtag phobia for JJ. Fear of the woods. Dashing CN. Gordy has a hashtag fear of horses. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. So that is uh, just official and cemented. Um, <laughs> you are especially afraid of it. Yeah. Technicare uh, towards a hashtag phobia for Apollonia. Seeing Okay, so we finished that sort of as yeah. cumulative. Uh, oh, the Welsh. It's a community effort. Uh, Mr. Al, here's a hashtag re-roll for the pool slash mat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, thank you, chat. Thank you. Uh, Pity yeah. or donated bits. Can one of the mods make sure we get this? Uh, hashtag phobia. Uh, Gordy has a fear of hats. <laughs> yep. oh, there it yep. is. Uh, Davro31, the horse is back, and he is looking for human flesh. Hashtag evil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I gave him a human body. That still counts, right? That was right? cool, yeah, no, That was way creepier. Okay. That was way okay. creepier. I also thought that, that was, was like part of your story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, it became part of the story. It yeah. is now. Yeah. yeah, I was like, what? Okay. Um, and that's it. You guys... Thank you so thank much. You Yay, so much. Thank you so much. You guys made this episode. This was rad. Awesome. All right, y'all. Uh, we're going to be cutting over to Malika in the corner. She's going to talk to you guys, answer any questions you may have. And then after that, we'll be right back with Mike Jen and our good friend Fabian to play some magic draft. Oh, and we'll oh, be oh, giving oh, these sorry. away. You got some real quick? Uh, Danielle Steve, thank you so much for yeah. this. This was uh, yeah, so cool. Cool. Yeah. For me. This is awesome. It's a Cthulhu chalice. Thank you so, so much. I will angrily drink from this every time Zach ruins the show. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. Switch we'll it to Malika. See you in the Bye. Reddit. Bye.